deserve to know everything that concerns me. I want to be a fulfilled man, Papa. And I want to know my roots. If you have grown up to be a man, I will tell you everything that happened. I will tell you those that happened before me. And those that happened during my time. And those that were reported to me. that you're having with your wife, and they're getting out of hand. I called you here to find out why you look down on a woman who has borne you three beautiful daughters. Brother, that is the problem I have with her. First, it was 13 good years of barrenness. And when she eventually started giving birth, it is all girls. So what is wrong with girls? Yes. I mean, what is wrong with girls? Now tell me, have you once knelt down to say, God, thank you for giving me these children? Have you? Don't you know that it is this same God who gave you girls, who will one day give you boys? I don't want girls. I want a son. And as long as she is not ready to give me a son, then she is not the woman I need. Still doing here. I said I don't want to see you. What are you studying in my house for Christ's sake? Guru, why are you allowing Satan to come into this marriage and own everything? Listen to why? me. Fat you are the Satan in human incarnation. Jesus. You are an embodiment of dissolution. You are an inspired piece of shit. You are leaving my house today. Oh, Take that your hand off me. You embodiment of nothing. For seven years, I lived with you. Seven years into our marriage. Nothing to show for it. Not even Aki. Not to talk of Papa. You only sit down in my house. Eat a boom. Go to the toilet. That's all you know. You are leaving my house today. You not hate me so much that you call me names. Oh in fact, what am I sitting with you? Oh, 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 and take whatever you think that belongs to you. I don't want to go, please. You are a wish. I don't want to live with a wish. I now know they sent you to destroy me. Go and tell them that it will not work. It will not work. Idiot. God. God, is it my fault? Is it my fault? Why me? Okoro, you don't want me, and I also don't want you. Go to hell and burn to ashes. Okoro is history, and I must face my life.
You have restored happiness to my dark world. And I now feel that forever I am indebted to you. You are the best cook. You mean you specifically cook this for me? Of course. You've actually proved to be the exact kind of man I needed. You know and what? I've decided to shower you with love. <laughs> you know what, isn't it? No. I've also made up my mind to love you. Yes. I have a wife at home. But you are a breed far above whatever she represents. Yes. Look, you are so caring, loving, and extremely committed. <laughs> I will love you to the end. I love you too. I like the way you talk. <laughs> Just eat your food. We have all the time to talk. <laughs> so good, you're so sweet. So wonderful. <laughs> 11 o'clock in the night and the man with responsibility is still roaming the streets. Not on bed, you breeder of female species. Girls! You! Utaka! Why are you referring to these kids as if they are not human beings? They are your children! Do they have any share in the family? Why are you deceiving yourself? What am I going to do with them? Look, if you value your stay in this house, you better start thinking of how to breed and give me a male child. And you must be fast about it. You breed off. Sh should I serve you here or inside? You don't know how to cook. So don't serve me anywhere. I'm not here for drinks. The message is that I should meet you here this morning and I want to know what the problem is. Men of all ages agree that there is sweetness in the waist of all women. But the wise men will tell you that beneath that waste lies death. I have called you here to educate you on the contrast. You are talking in parables. And I don't know where you are coming from. You have a family. I want you to concentrate on your family. Yes. Your romance well, that woman who lives at the end of the road has been reported to me and I don't feel comfortable about it. Do you mean to say that you don't have any work anymore? Why are you monitoring me? What is your business with where I enter? My brother, as I said before, beneath the waist of a woman lies death. 
So be careful what you do. And don't make the mistake that other men have made. Well, thank you very much for the many advice. But to be sincere, I don't need such advice. Are you working out on me? Yes, of course. It has become clear that you, we don't reason alike. And I don't have to sit down here and continue listening to you. Utaka. 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 You said your husband threw you out. Yes. And I ask, why did you two go back to your parents? My parents are late. I'm a woman. I know I can always get out for myself. I have this uncle who is generally believed as one who killed my parents, and I didn't want to go back to him. I was just hoping that one day I will meet another man. And I'm happy you came on board the time you did. <laughs> you know, you have a way you coined your words. And that makes me very happy. I wonder why a man will see a woman like you and desire another. You're starting your flatteries again. No, I'm not flattering you. I'm telling you the truth. I told you I felt dizzy all through the day. Oh, you never cared to ask me why. Well, I didn't ask you because it rained throughout the day. And the uh, wetness of the weather might have been the cause. No, you are wrong. The way I feel has nothing to do with the weather. Then you tell me what might have been the cause. Because you know, I am not an expert in human chemistry. Pregnant. Yeah. Then how is that my business? Why are you talking like this? You are the one responsible. You've been able to do what Okuro could not do for seven years. Yet he called me names. He used me and dumped me. I have the feeling you are trying to flatter me into accepting what is not popular. You, you know, different men have been coming to, to stay with you. Me? You. Why are you? How can you single me out and say that I am responsible for your pregnancy? You are accusing me of messing around with me? But that's not fair. I'm not imposing this pregnancy on you. You are the one responsible. I refuse to accept any pregnancy for a woman who proved to be available for all. Go and dress the man who scored a strange goal. Certainly not me. And I will never be the one. Where are you going, Utaka? <laughs> you can't abandon me at this stage, please. <laughs> Really? Look, don't call my name again. <laughs> you know you're responsible. Look, I, I like you like a woman. And I come to you to have fun. That is what I want. You are not going to hook me up with this rubbish. I swear, it's not because that you are my brother. It's not that you are my brother. I would have destroyed that you are baby covered mouth. He used to gossip around the village. Who is pregnant and who is not pregnant? Can you imagine that? It is high time you realize that men don't gossip. Well, the pregnancy is matured. As in very matured. Uh, and very soon you will realize that you not take gossip. Uh, but that, that's just what I came to tell you. So do something, oh. You know. yeah.
Yes, come in. What? What are you doing here? Anything wrong in an old friend coming to see a child? See the child and leave immediately. <clears throat> hey, isn't it? You are right. This child is a carbon copy of my father. And this is the male child I have been looking for all these years. In fact, I don't have time for a heartless man like you. Leave this apartment and don't come back. I'm sorry, Azini. Why are you sounding like this? Why are you calling me heartless? I'm calling you heartless because that's what you are. You rushed up here to see the child because they must have told you it's a male child. Would you have come if I had delivered a girl child? Please, Azini. Temper justice with mercy. I, know, I don't know what come over my head. I, I shouldn't have treated you the way I did. Please, forgive me. I will pay you for all the time that I was away. I have come back to my responsibility. Yes. Come in. May I know? What you are doing here? Uh, Mr. Man, you can see your welcome has expired. This is the door. You cannot go through it because I want to have a word with my wife. Who are you? To barge into my apartment and give orders to my guests? And who exactly do you call your wife? <laughs> well, well, <laughs> uh, you know, men can do some silly things, you know, after the reception. You see, you see the ring, I'm still putting it on. You are still my wife. So why don't you pack, let's get home. You must be the clown of the century to imagine I could go home with you. Now, look at my lips. It is over between us. No, isn't it? No. The bright price I paid on your head is still not refunded to me. So, you are still my wife. Why don't you tell this fool to go away from here so that I pick you and my son will go home? Listen, listen. If you are here because of the male child that God has given to me, know you that you are wasting your time. I don't have time for you. Isn't it? You are wrong. The truth is that I own you. Even everything you have, even the time you think I'm wasting on you, I own everything. So why don't we go, please? Listen, I want to end this drama here and now. You are not the father of this child. This man here is the father of this child. So I expect you to develop wings and fly off immediately. So you are the idiot that has been cultivating in my garden. One thing I will assert here is that I'm not a troublemaker. If your stress is the price price you paid on her, then relax. I will pay you ten times over. But the boy is mine. You are telling me to my face that you've been sleeping with somebody's wife. And you are not ashamed? Watch your tongue. Or you do what? You idiotic gigolo of no class and foundation. Oh, oh, You go fighting over a woman. Eh, brother? Uh, I know I told you about it. But I didn't say she go fight. Ha! In fact, you won't understand. I did not fight over his name. 
Ezume is an idiot. Tomorrow she's an idiot. Forever she will remain an idiot. Uh, I only fought for my son. Eh? Brother, can you listen to yourself? Over who? Over your son. How on this earth do you think is possible? That a ghost called by Onkota will be accredited to Ronaldo. Is it possible? Hmm. Eh, brother? Okay. It's not a... You are a complete idiot. Yes. In fact, you are a green snake in the green grass. I thought you were my brother. Ha! Look, be very careful, brother. Is it because I told you to get locked with the truth? Don't you know the tradition of our people? Don't you know that when, every, when a man marries a woman, he owns everything, including the child. Eh? Don't you know that whatever is planted in a land belongs to the owner of the land? Eh? In fact, get rid of me now. Eh? Brother, Shh. Don't ever come to me again. Get out. Brother, don't go. Get out! And never you come back here again. You can brother. Obiageli. Obiageli. Why are you looking wounded? Oh, because his uh, concubine gave him a male child. Look, that child has no inheritance in this family. Don't worry yourself about it. Ichi Ndulwe, you are the only one saying this. You are the only one saying this because you understand the way I feel. All the members of the family are happy. They are happy because he finally has a male child from somewhere. And as he stands, they may push me and my daughters out of this family. Out of this family. No. No. You seem to have forgotten that I am the head. I am the current head of this family. And I have no intention on looking down on the legitimate children, girls, that you have given this family. And what is the meaning of this? And where are you going with that woman? Don't you call her that woman. She is my wife, the mother of my son. And she has come here to stay. Utaka. Utaka, how could you? How could you bring another woman into this house? Into your matrimonial home? Don't you ever think you are in the same category with her? Because she is able to give me what you are not able to give me. And you should come on your face and shit. Utaka! 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 Geli. Always remember that I stand with you. He has not paid any bright price on that woman. Let her have as many male children as she wants. They have no family. I tell you that. So no matter what happened, you have to know that you are my son and you have all the rights of ever not to people. What, what, what are you doing to my, to my father? I said, what are you doing to my father? Okay, sister. Father, go and locate your family. You don't belong here. Why are you always looking for trouble? He is not your father. Our father did not pay a kobo as bride price on your mother. So you leave. Please. Your ladies, please. You should stop this. Look, Papa needs attention. Get out! 
that my brother is your father oh. anyway you are leaving this village tonight because you are no longer welcome here you are doing this to me because because my parents are dead eh? he was the only reason we tolerated you all this while yeah. now that he's dead the bond is dead so leave leave, leave. Why, why are you showing me this kind of wickedness now you are the one that is wicked eh? when, when papa was alive papa accepted me as his son is it because then now you people are saying I don't belong here anymore? I will tell you, you have no inheritance in this family. And as the head, I banish you. You can go anywhere you like. Settle anywhere, but not here. Never. No, I'm, I'm, not going going anywhere. Anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. I say get out. I don't know why they've done what they've done, but no problem. God is in control, no problem. Listen, just come to my house. Just come and sleep with me. When we, in the morning, we can sort everything out, please. It's, it's raining. Oh, son, you have proven to me to be the only friend I have in this village. I just have to go. Huh? God is in control. I'll make it. Go. Yeah. Oh, son, I don't want to inconvenience you. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are they going? Go? Come, let's go sleep on my house. My word I've given to you. In everything I do, while I am back in this race, oh, Lord, be mindful life. It's your will this day, oh, Lord. My word I've given to you In everything I do While I am back in this race Oh Lord, be mindful life What can I do for you? Uh, good morning, sir. Hey, good morning. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm looking for, for this job. This job? Yes. I cannot give you the job. You know why I cannot give you this job? What I want is a house that I'm does not need any house boy. I need a house help. Um, uh, I, it says house help. I, 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 I want the job. But you are not a house help. What I want is a house car, and that car must be fine. And the girl must be able to cook a dick, I can have and soup. But you cannot do that, young man. I can do all these things, though. all these things. You have I cannot done. give you this job. I need a house, help, not a house boy. He does not understand. That is what I want you to understand. Thank you. Oh, 
Encountering some problems now, so I need a job so I can feed. I saw your signpost outside that says house help needed. So I, I, I came to apply for the job now. I can do any and everything. Brings me to a family. Um, I'm thinking that we should make it possible for him to go back to school. At least to round up his uh, degree program. And such promising young man should not be allowed to end up as a domestic staff in any family. You know what? Your views have always been respected very highly. And um, if that is your desire, you might as well make him a promise. Thank you, Danny. Thank you so much. Hey, Dad, now I'm off. Mm -hmm. Ready? Mm -hmm. 
this guy. My mom. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to stab up trouble. I will, I'll call you, I'll call you um, later tonight. Yeah. Love you, Dad. Yeah. It's only your dad that you love. Oh, you love you always, Mom. Bye. The meeting we have with the expert we hired to run the palm plantation will be tomorrow morning. I want us to streamline things before we know what we can tell him. What we're going to tell him is very simple. Let him fashion out a way of transforming the plantation into a profit-making business. He's an expert and that's why we hired him. So let him sort it out. No. It is not for him to fashion out the way to run it. It is for us to say what we want. Um, well, if you ask me, I think we should... We should give him a free hand to run the business. You know, most of those managers often feel pissed off, you know, disgusted when they think that business owners are trying to dictate to them or trying to interfere in their management decisions or, you know, all that. I think... We should allow him run it his way. I think it's the best thing to do. Because, I mean, that way he will see the company as his own. And in the long run, it will all only favor us. I think I agree with her. The business will thrive well if the expert we hired will handle things without unnecessary interference. True. That's why we hired him. We wouldn't have been able to run that company. <laughs> exactly. Okay. If you say so. Give me. Have you forgotten that that day that you come here, I was the one that interviewed you. One of your eyes was well, doing that. Is was well, doing that. Is was well, doing that. Is I was looking at you. Today you want to tell me that you are the okay? Okay. Why are you always looking for trouble? Are you trying to call a wall or call a panoro that I'm a troublemaker? Is it because of those small, small arm robbers that no, does not even have any con? It's just that they have firewood that you pursue. Somebody will no longer hear anything for you in this compound. Okay. I know my duties in this compound and I'm doing them. Define your own duties and concentrate on them, please. So you want to fight me? You want to fight the Eh? You want to fight me? What is that Madam, nothing. We are just talking from the psycho spiritual uncle. Do you think you are talking to an idiot? I saw you take the biscuit out of, out of his hand and you are telling me rubbish. What is going on here? Madam, this boy is trying to prove stubborn. The boy he forgot that I'm that day that he come. I was the one that opened that car and he was doing right like this, he was doing right like this. Today he want to tell me that he's the car of this place. Since when did you start defining hierarchical status in this compound? And who the hell are you to tell anyone that you're not able? As I'm looking at this boy from the second street angle, the guy he just come that is rock. He wants to build your car of this place. Now shut up, Coco. You were employed in this compound as a gate man and a housekeeper. And you must restrict yourself specifically to those areas. Eric is here for a different purpose. And he's far more educated than you. And he has proven himself more competent. If I ever catch you disturbing the piece of this young man in this compound. You won't like what I'll do to you. See? When I do kadami, I see my royals. Kadami, I see my... Hello, girl. Hi, girlies. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You look so hot. Look at you looking so green, green. Ah, the land is green. Oh. <laughs> What's up now? Why you not come back like you promised? My oh, dear, you know now. Yeah, those rapies are bad. No, <laughs> God forbid. You know what? I Nothing is happening, so I think like I just chill small. What's happening? You don't okay. shop all day. Saturday. What are you still doing here? Madam, I just brought your luggage. You drop that thing and get out. Um, can I do anything for you before I go, ma? Idiot. Yum! Get out. Thank you. So, girl. What's another guy that saved you? Why you be so rude to him? Well, the guy that nearly cost me my life with his reckless driving. Huh? That 
that guy is so annoying. Where are you going to? Mercy! Mercy! Uh, is she calling me? No, no. Actually, I came to apologize over all she said to you inside. I was... Please don't take it to heart. You know, she's a woman and women are always very difficult. I just don't know why she just hates me. I, I, I don't know what to do. Please, be a man. Don't break down, okay? You know, um, you're brave to have squared up to those rapists and bandits. And I like brave guys. Yeah. I think I like you. I like you too. You're a nice person. I like you. I have to be on my way now. Alright. Take care of yourself. Hey, 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 hey! My keys! Uh, Madam, how do I go back home now? Stupid question. Trek home! What are those sticks down there for? Um, but how can I trek home? Um, um, home is 12 kilometers away. Alicia, how could you be so heartless? How could you unleash such level of wickedness to a guy that breaks his life just to save yours? Tell me how I should treat my household. Alicia, just give him back the keys. What? And who gave you the right to tell me what to do and how to handle my affairs? Do you expect this guy to check 12 kilometers back home? And he had better start doing that now before he gets late. I'm sure in his village he does more miles than that. And look, let this be the last time you ever tell me what to do and what not to do. Excuse me. Alicia, please. Okay, please, don't be upset, okay? I could manage this. Um, thank you very much. Um, uh, you're such a pillar of support. Thank you. Alicia. Let's face facts here. You're not treating a young man as a friend. Your attitude towards him is so not fair. Did you say friend? My houseboy. <laughs> I hope your body is not beginning to call for him. Stay away from him. I'm not going to stay away from him. If you know that he want to start, you better start it now. And if you think I'm going to let you seduce that guy, you must have another thing coming. He is my house boy. I can smell jealousy. I'm not going to stay away from him. My dear, I don't have time for long time. <laughs> for me to say I love you because of the level of risk you can take for a woman. But that might not be the ultimate reason. I love you because of the level of risk you can take for a woman. A man like you are in short supply. I must say the same for you likewise. Women like you are short of supply. I mean, it takes lots of gods and civilization for a woman to walk up to a man she fancies. And I do feel honored having you. Alicia is upset we're seeing each other. Are you serious? Yeah, but don't let that bother you. Alicia is my friend, I can handle her. Why? I mean, she should be happy. I mean, her mother said I should feel very free in the house. So, she should be happy I have a mother now. Eric. Yes? I want you to be honest with me. Do you have any problems with Alicia? No, not at all. Never. Never. But she made it very clear to me that she didn't like me from the very first day. 
Anyway, don't let that bother you, okay? It's your birthday, so let's celebrate it. All in the name of celebrating your birthday. No, your mother said I should feel free in this. Such a lousy house help. What do you find so irresistible in mercy? Do you know what you're here to do at all? She's just a friend who appreciates me. It's only natural for me to appreciate her back. It's not in my nature to turn down people. No, you shut up. God, you are so irritatingly despicable. What, what, the, what was that? Now you get out of my sight! Thank you. You stinking piece of shit! God! It's so to see it that way. Look into my eyes and tell me you don't love me. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry for the way I treated you in the past. But I love you. But what I... No, but... Just give me a chance to make amends for the wrong I did to you. Just that I you don't want Alicia coming in here to discover you're playing a double one on her. What? You think I didn't know what's been going on between you both? Please. I actually came here to wish you love and happiness in your newly found relationship. Alicia is a good girl. Please take it easy with her. And please. Please, don't do anything to hurt her. Um, oh, where, where are you going? Um, look, um, please, 
My mercy, whatever it is you, you thought that was happening is not... She offered you a wristwatch. She told you I was gone. And she expressed love for you. You were still surprised. And she kissed you. Alicia told you all this. Listen, I want you to understand that Alicia loves you. And as for me, I'm already in a relationship. And I tend to stick to my man. I want you to look closely to Alicia's face and you will discover how much she loves you. I'll see you guys later. The ideal thing for me to say I love you because of the level of risk you can take for a woman. But that might not be the ultimate reason. A man like you, I shot surprise. I must say the same for you likewise. You're thinking of mercy, right? Huh? I am here to fill the gap for you. Huh? I know it started slowly, but we can take it to whatever level we want to. Believe me when I said you're unique. I love you so much. Lovely. But we can take it to whatever level we want to. Believe me when I said you're unique. I don't know what your problem is, but I think your father is happy with what he has managed to achieve. And that is why he wants Eric to go to Katna and manage the branch office there. That's the point, Mom. I do not want Eric to go anywhere. Why? Alicia, don't you think you're, you're taking this threat to another level? On the contrary, Mom, I do not hate him. Tell Daddy to, to tell his old manager to go manage his company, Kaduna. What has come over you, Alicia? Are you questioning your father's decision? I'm sorry, Mom, but I cannot let Eric leave my sight. Are you the one talking? I just realized I love him dearly. And I will be unhappy if he leaves me now. Don't tell me you are developing interest on in Eric. I'm pregnant for him. You're what? How could you be so carefree? I'm sorry, Mom. I don't know how it happened. I really. I mean, you're ashamed of yourself. You were the gravity of the offense, the crime you committed. How dare you put the shame upon me? I'm sorry. Oh, shut up then. Shut up. And you. I trusted you. I took you like a son. I helped you with your investment program and made you a manager in my office. And all you need to pay me back is to put my daughter and the family away. Dad, I'm sorry, but it wasn't his fault. I, I, I took it for him. You did what? You did what? What has come over you, Alicia? What? You plan to get married. You plan to do what? Oh, how dare you utter such lonesome words? Huh? Anyway, for abusing the privilege I gave to you, I will be truly confident and imposed to you. From now on, you're no more my man. You, you can't do that. It's not his fault. I, 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 I take full responsibility for everything. I made him do it because. Hey, 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 you shut up. Can you say you made him do anything? Is there a fool not to know the consequences of sexually abusing the only daughter of a family? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. But if you punish him for doing what I have taken full responsibility for, I, 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 I,
of her daughter. Please, can we see in my office for a while? Tell me whatever you want to tell me, her doctor. Okay. She was delivered of a bouncing baby girl. Oh, praise God! God. Yes! Yes! Can I see her now? Uh, you can't see her right now. Why? Mm. Please. Uh, doctor, talk to me. Why? Huh? Calm down, please. Uh, it's, it's, it's very hard to say, but I have to let you know that. Thank you. Speak up. What happened? Huh? What happened? We tried our best. Huh? My God. We did our best. What? Talk to me. What's going on? We tried all we could. But we lost our hope. You can't hear me. Stop talking. Stop talking. Stop talking. Stop talking. Stop talking. I'm sorry. We did our best. Hello, sir. Hello. Yeah, my mom knows you're here now, so she'll be with you shortly. In the meantime, can I offer you anything? A drink, maybe? Amanda, I am not here for drinks. I need to see your mother, and it's very urgent. Okay? Okay. Alright. She'll be with you shortly then. It's okay. Good afternoon, madam. Thank you. What did you say happened? We received some visitors from the Ministry of Works yesterday. Ministry of Works? Yes. What did they come to do? Because Ministry of Works has no business with palm plantation. They came for a different reason entirely, and I am not comfortable with what they said. What did they say? Contract has been awarded for the construction of a dam in Ebenato, and they say that the plantation will have to go. Are you sure? Madam, I cannot just come here to say such a thing. They said we should get ready to be demolished. Are you sure our enemies are not at work here? How can they even think of demolishing a plantation that is yielding a turnover of over a hundred million naira? We have to make a move. And they are very, very serious about the dam. We need to counter them with superior moves, madam. Hello, good afternoon, sister. The Ministry of Works wants to destroy our palm plantation. What? Who told you that? I'm telling you what Mr. Bright just told me. He said they came to the plantation yesterday and that's what they told him. Oh my God, this is serious. What are we supposed to do about it? Nothing more than fight back. I want you to come over to the house immediately. We need to move faster before they fell all our palm trees. Okay, I'm on my way right away. I'll be home in a little bit. Okay? All right, bye. Listen to me, Chief Abbas. We all have our interests. I want us to be civilized enough to respect each other's interests. Well, madam, I don't have any other interest apart from carrying out the contract that I won. You may go around the state and verify. I have a track record. Whatever I am asked to do, I do to the very best of my ability. Are you aware that the place you are planning to clear for the town is a functional palm plantation that gives us serious profit? Why do you want to destroy our family business? Why? Madam, there is a way you are twisting this issue as if I was the one that shows the project. This is the project of the Ministry of Works, and they decided on the very side they want. Mine is simply to execute the contract. I'm sorry, Chief Abbasi. We've gone to the Ministry, and they say that is a contractor that influenced their choice of side. Don't mind him. Why are you bent on destroying our family business? Okay, I'll, I'll tell you. Let me tell you right away. 
I run a thriving company, a going concern. Okay? If I should set the dam in the site you are defending, it is going to cost me less. It simply means I am going to make more profit. Just listen to yourself. Did you listen to yourself, Chief? Huh? You want to destroy the best palm plantation in the state because of profit. Personal profit. Hmm. Personal profit. Well, madam, you are lucky that we have a responsible government in place. And I can tell you right away that your family will be heavily compensated. I put it to you right here and now. We don't want any compensation. Take your damn to another place. We don't want it here. Are you in my guest lodge giving me orders or what? Call it whatever you want. I don't care. I just want to warn you. Don't start what you cannot finish. If you tamper with that plantation, I can assure you, I'm going to give you the woman in me. I will show you the woman in me. You know what, madam? Your dress are absolutely baseless. Uh, maybe you are into this business of intimidating people. You cannot intimidate this person. You hear that? Let us go. It's just as simple as that. Let us go. Let us leave. You, you cannot intimidate this man here. Maybe that is. Go and fight it. Maybe that is your stock in trade. Go and fight it. Go, 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 go and do it. Are you serious? Go and do it. If I know you are these colors, I wouldn't have allowed you here. I am going to deal with that man. I am going to deal with that man. I will so deal with him, eh? <laughs> oh. He was the one that influenced government to cite that dam where our plantation is domiciled. I will show him that I am not the kind of woman that they can push around. I'm going to deal with him. Eh? I will so deal with him, eh? Giru. Okay. Sister God, the man is not here. We don't need to shout. All we need to do is articulate on what next to do. Giru, you don't need to bother yourself. Save your breath. But I know what I'm going to do. Don't so worry. I was thinking of going to see the Minister of Works before he send his bulldozers to go and bulldoze that's our land. Hmm. Hey. Hey. I will deal with him. You will see what I will do to him. Think, he thinks he can joke with every kind of woman he sees on the road. I don't understand how this concerns me. This dam is going to be beneficial to all. I think we should lend our support. I am not sure you understand the last article in that document I gave you. Rainbow oil plantation is about to be destroyed. But that is unacceptable. Why would they want to do a, a, a thing like that? Mm -hmm. Now you are beginning to understand me. That plantation is the only legacy your late brother left behind. People remember him because of that plantation. Today, the entire family is well known because of that same plantation. I want you to see it as war. That plantation must not be destroyed. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Come on, please, my sister. Tell me what happened. Come on. Look, nothing happened. All that happened was that I used what I have to get what I want. <laughs> Sister, that is so valid. And I just proved it today that it will remain valid till the end of time. Are you saying that the plan worked? It did not just work. He practically promised. I mean, he gave me his words that that plantation is going nowhere. Oh! Hi! Oh my God! This is heartwarming. Mm. <laughs> I told you. You mean the, the, the project has been cancelled? Moved to Obiono. Tell me it's not true. Sister, look, I showed him raw pictures. I handled him like no woman has ever done. And then he went berserk with promises. <laughs> Sister, look, you have to really take me out. You have to properly congratulate me on this job well done. I mean, this is a $1 million job. Bro. 
My goodness, anything for you, my sister. Are you going to apologize to me? Or do you want me to teach you a lesson of your life? You cannot do anything. I know traffic rules and I know my rights and you cannot intimidate me. Will you shut those mandibles of yours? Oh, I shut it up for you, you little brat. How dare you insult a lady old enough to be your mother? Or oh, don't you have elders where you come from? Yeah, right. You guys are allergic to insults, right? Then get into your car and zoom off. Madam, please, madam, please don't be offended. Let's just drive off instead of giving the devil a chance, please. Then get her to apologize to me. She ran into my car. Is she stupid? Me? ran into your car, you rolled back and hit my car and by traffic rules you are at fault because there's something called a handbrake. Will you shut up? Can it prove that our car pulled back? You hit our car from behind and you must walk on this car. That is stupid. What's wrong with the children of this thing? Hello? Yes. NNDP Road. Oh no. Avenue on Third Road. Let them come and pick up one brass here that is proving tough. I'm waiting, thank you. Don't you think this is getting out of hand? We have to leave here now, not so fast. Listen, I'm ready for whoever they are calling. And moreover, they just called me a brat and I'm going to prove to them that I'm not a brat. Will you shut that thing you call a mouth? Look, 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 look at this little punk. How old are you, sir? Twelve? Since I let's just leave this little rat here because if, if I just touch you now, you will die. I have to teach her a lesson of her life. Huh. Otherwise, she will repeat it. <sighs> if they well, don't train you in the house, I will help train you on the road. Huh. You don't know if they sent this one from wherever she came from. Look, look at this, this, this tag I have suffered, oh, this God. country. Don't there is worry. nothing somebody will not see. No, but she must walk on Let's this leave this girl alone. Just... Ernest, I hope you are not one of those people who believe His Excellency the Governor will do whatever I say. I didn't say so. Presently, you are the closest special assistant to the governor. He cannot take any decision without putting you in the mood. You should know the problem. Uh, yes, uh, His Excellency did uh, inform me about the problem, but the question is, how does it concern you? Uh, I am the senior special assistant on budget and finance, and the senior special assistant on security did advise the governor not to go for the rally. Uh, his Excellency made his decision on that, so how does it concern my office? I know it doesn't concern you, but I'm sorry, Mr. Robert. We are certain that you can convince His Excellency to attend the rally. There is no single threat to his life. You and I know that our enemies are at work. We need men like you, Mr. Robert. We need men like you to talk to the governor, to change his mind and attend the rally. Uh... Well, Ernest, I'm not promising anything, but uh, I'll see what I can do, okay? Yes. Oh, that's my daughter. She's awesome. Yes, she is. You know, these young kids, you have to, you know, put them under the right umbrella, offload them, and put them in the right channel so they don't digress. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good day. So, where did you go? I had this party at the PDDA. Yes. And I had this very horrible bus stop with this very arrogant woman on the street today. She hits my car came down for her car and insisted I apologize to her. <laughs> That's very silly, Amara. Who is she? I don't know, someone on the street. Then did you apologize? Never. She called the officers and when they came and realized your daughter knows her rights, they asked her to go get her car fixed. And uh, all this happened and you did not even inform me. Lady, I'm an adult now. Remember, I don't have to bother you about everything anymore. Well, you're my daughter, and as such, I can never ever say you're disturbing me. I was actually thinking you were going to be proud of me this once for handling it myself. Of course, I'm proud of you, my love. Thank you, Dad. You have such a wonderful daughter. Yes, yes. Uh, my daughter is the most valuable asset I have. 
And my dear friend Ernest, I have decided to throw the biggest party in the state the very moment my daughter decides to marry the man of her dreams. Mm. And as such, I myself will not get married until my daughter gets married. <laughs> You're a good man. So like I said, uh, Ernest, um, I'll see what I can do. Okay? Um, the governor has a list in here. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll put it on the table and properly analyze the situation. Okay, my friend. Uncle, you were sounding so worried, and then I wonder what it was that we could not discuss on phone. Read this letter. Pay particular attention to the last article. Then you will know why I am worried. <laughs> Uncle, is this why you are worried? Of course. <laughs> Look, the monthly salary I get from the plantation helps me immensely. And I don't want anything to, to happen to that plantation. <laughs> Uncle, the best I can tell you is to relax. The plantation is not going to go. Look, I would like to know your plan. Your plan for it. Because, you see, the plantation remains the only thing that makes people respect our family. And I don't want that to go. Uncle, the plantation will not go. Ah. I have settled the matter. So relax. Mm. Everything is okay. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Uncle. <laughs> Elders of Obiono must understand that this meeting is extremely important. Miriamma River is our only source of water. It could be argued that we owe our existence to that river. And that is why it is necessary that we confront the wild daughters of late Mr. Otaka. That is to ask them why they ask government to look our way. Mazusta. Yes. Do you think it is necessary to engage lousy women in any argument? You call them wild women. That's what they are. Men that are men do not argue with women. Let alone wild women. All right. If you are not comfortable with my suggestion, make yours. Um. <clears throat> I think the best thing we can do is to apply for injunction in the High Court. Because we need a perpetual court injunction to reframe the government from carrying out their plan. Come to think of it, we have lived all our lives here in Obiuno. Eh? So there is no way the government will wake up suddenly and say they are going to relocate us to another place. You see, um, well, I wouldn't want counsel to see me as being stubborn. The truth is that I am not comfortable at all with the idea of injunction against government. That will amount to being confrontational and we cannot silence government. Other towns that have vibrant uh, kings and kingdoms may succeed. Here in Ebenato, we are not that lucky. Therefore, you can succeed or win against government. Could you tell us exactly what you want us to do? Because the truth is that we cannot confront the wild daughters of a late Mr. Taka. Okay. Any other suggestion is okay by me. But to confront them, count me out. And you? The journey of life, with trials and strife, 
under the sun The moon is the air The travel of mine's just to test of his life Cause there's a God that governs the world He's a great lifesaver And his plans are nothing like man He's the giver of the given, he's the helper of the helpless, he's the mighty and mighty provider. What's gonna be with me? Who is that man out there? Um, he, he has been standing there for close to three hours now. That's not the answer to my question. I said, who is he? Um, he said his name is Osondo, Oga's old friend. He said that he has a serious matter to discuss with Oga. In, and something like he, he came from the village. And I told him that Oga is not ready to see anybody now. But he insists and kept standing. I don't know how to ask him out. Yeah, it's a good day. But, um, you spent so much time at the bank. What happened? I'm sorry, that was just queue. The queue was much. I had to wait. You know me, I like to observe protocols. Oh, yeah, there's somebody at the gates. According to Ali, he's been waiting for almost three hours. Three hours? Mm -hmm. What did he tell me? <laughs> you know your gates, man. Of course, he wanted to exercise his powers. He made up his mind to keep him there as long as he wanted. Did you finally get to know the name of this person? Mm, um, he said he's an old friend from the village. And his name is Osondo, I guess. Osondo? I'm not sure, but I think so. In my house? No, outside the gates. Daddy? Daddy, is he that in the Ali? Ali! Now why didn't you tell me I have a visitor? I... Will you go and open the gate? Saying something. Yes. Um, I have this feeling that Mazusta is not providing us with quality leadership that we need at this time of great temptation. Mm. What we will do is to pass a vote of no confidence on him and get him out. No, 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 no. That will amount to going to the extreme. And you know we cannot afford to go into that now. Then what do we do? You know, he favors confrontation. And we don't need confrontation now. Do you know what we are going to do? Uh, just go home and allow me to handle this. Eh? I will meet with Maze Usita in his house later tonight. And we can work out something. I understand he has a personal problem with Ogo. Ogo? The ladies' leader. Mm. We will not allow him to use Elder's Forum to settle his personal scores with people. Mm. is you. Just go home and allow me to handle this my own way. Even the allegation that uh, he was the one who blew the fan God's marriage does not hold water. Mm. Yes, because the woman in question is not even a wife material. Eh? 
I can bet you that the man walked out on her simply because he found out that he was marrying the wrong woman. So like I have just said, you go home. Don't walk yourself up. Go home. Eh? Allow me to handle it. Okay. You still haven't told me how you managed to trace me. You see, I was going through the newspapers and I saw a congratulatory message for Eric Roberts. Yes. Then I look closely. I'm like, I know this man from somewhere. That is why I traced you here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. You know, you're a perfect example of a true VIP because you're the best visitor I've had in this year. Uh, I'm just so happy you remember the bond we shared. Of course. But, but of if course. I may ask you, how did you manage to warm yourself into the top of government so quickly? Well, my brother, um, if you ask me, uh, I will tell you sincerely I don't have explanations. However, when God decides to bless a man, he doesn't give explanations. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I think differently at all. I think differently. You see, God forced them to pack you out of that village because he had prepared something better and wonderful for you. Mm? Our town is facing a, a very difficult situation right now, and based on your authoritative position in government, it is only right for me to argue that uh, you, you, you help us solve the problem. Well, it depends on where you're calling my town, because as far as I'm concerned, I am a citizen of this great nation, and as such, that your town is not my town. And I wish not to discuss anything in that perspective, please. Yes. I am appealing to your conscience. Forgive and forget what happened. You now hold an enviable position in government and no matter what you do, you will help solve our problems. You are the son of the soil and you must help us, please. I totally disagree. I am not from the Milato. They threw me out in the cold, left me to wander in the world without a single thing. They thought I would die and get forgotten, right? No, 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 no. Not at all, my friend. They threw you out for a purpose. Do you think you'd have met Mr. Roberts if you're still in Eben Island? Do you think? The purpose was for you to deliver us from the problems you are facing. Well, I am sorry I will not do a single thing for people. Why? Tell me why. Why? Are you punishing the people of Ebenato because of the sins of other people? Huh? Was it men and women who packed you out? No! It was your uncle and your aunties who executed that plan. So do not punish the people of Ebenato because of the sins of your immediate family. Well, awesome. The Bernardo doesn't even exist in my archive of history. Excuse me. Yesterday I was with um, Chief Abbasi. And he told me that he was waiting for the governor to sign just a particular document for him. That once that's done, he will mobilize the site. Is he sure that governor is going to sign the said document? I just want to see work started at Midoma River. That is the easiest way to show me that the plantation is safe. Sister, I've told you to relax. Chief Abbas is not one we should doubt. Besides, he told me he was not resting and I really don't have any cause to doubt him. What is it? I don't know why your uncle has been flashing me since morning. This is the very sixth time he's flashing me only today. Sister, these people do not know how to call. Eh? All they do is flashy, 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 or better still, thank God for midnight calls. You better call him back home. Hello? What is the matter, uncle? I expected you to have used your influence with the government to point their searchlight somewhere else. But that's what we just succeeded in doing. The plantation is no longer going to be destroyed. As I'm talking to you now, 
The contractor is waiting for the governor to sign just one paper. And they mobilize all the equipment to Miramar River. That is exactly what we don't want. We don't want the bulldozers anywhere near the river. No. You have to convince, you have to get your, your, your influential people to go back to the government and tell them that we don't want it there. Because if we dredge that river, the entire town. Why are you talking like this, Uncle? Eh? I thought our primary aim was to safeguard the plantation, which we have succeeded in doing. The blood that takes off from the ground and lands on an anthill is still on the ground. If that river is drenched, the entire town will be flooded. The plantation will be destroyed. And our town will be no more. No, we don't want that. We don't want that at all. We want you to use your influence to get the government to, to go somewhere else. That is going to be very difficult, Uncle. Government is already committed to this project. Getting them now to, to, to change the idea will be very difficult. I don't know how to do it. You get all your influential people to compel the government to go and look for what for the, for the, for they have done somewhere else and leave us alone. Sister, what is it? What did he say? Uh, that uh, they don't want the project at uh, Miramar River. What, what do they want from us now? Is it the plantation? They don't want the project at all at all. The government should take the project to somewhere else. And we should use our government connection to get government to change uh, and shove its idea. And ask of Mr. Eric Roberts. He's very popular. He's the senior special advisor to the governor on finance and budget. He is very influential and he is the man going to help us solve our problem. The man you mentioned may be very popular at the government house, but we don't know him and we don't know how he's going to help us. He is going to help us solve the problem because he is a son of the soil. Look, my young man, you are not serious. Let me tell you, Ebenato as a town does not have anybody in government. Lamentably, that's why we are being marginalized. And that's why, fortunately, government is going to consider us for the dam. Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, how could you say that a man who bears Robert as his surname is from uh, Ebenato. Uh, let us uh, look for another said. solution. What Okpaku has said is true. That man you are talking about, we don't know him. Have you seen this man? Look at him very well. He is Mr. Eric Roberts. The same as Mr. Eric Otaka. The son of the late brother from this village. Hey! This is wonderful. This is wonderful. Hey! Are you trying to tell me that Eric later succeeded in life? Yes. See? I've been to his house a couple of times and trust me, the man is made. He is hey. made. He, he sometimes chats with the governor on the phone and they, they talk like they're friends. He is the man going to help us solve the problem. That is your late brother's son. I am now beginning to retrace the facial contour of the family. But the young man only looks bloated because money has started flowing in. And let's take a closer look at it. <laughs> hey! Some people are here to see you. 
Daddy, they came with a cow. I've never seen anything like that before. Anyway, they are at the living room. I asked them to wait that you're coming. A cow? Mm hmm Why would you bring elders of Ebenator to come and kneel before me? Please, 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 stand up, please. Please, Eric. We realize we're useless without you. They asked me to bring them, and that is why we're here. Please, stand up. I'm surprised you have the guts to step into my home. Please forgive me. Please. I regret everything. Everything that I did. Ever since I was forced to banish you from Ibinata. Nothing has nothing has been the same. I am convinced Obasi is punishing me for what I did to you. I am asking for your forgiveness. Please, forgive me. Forgive me. And extend your hand of friendship to us again. Please, we, we, we cannot do anything without you. Please. You're sounding kind of weird. What are you saying? Why, why, why? The experts we engaged to conduct topographic study of Ebenato, that's your town, they came out with the conclusion that the Miriamai River area is not ideal for our project. Look, this is confusing, okay? If, if there's something you have to say, just say it, because I, I, I don't understand what you're saying. What I am saying is that we are not going to mobilize men and machines to Miriamai River area. We are going back to our original plan. Wait, what original plan are you talking about? You see, this man sitting here, I know how government works. I am a registered government contractor, licensed, both with the federal and the state government. What I am going to do is that I am going to get government to pay you serious. Emphasis is on the word serious. Pay you serious compensation. But the truth is that that plantation must be destroyed. Just tell me. Tell me this is a joke. Tell me you're not serious. This is one big joke, okay? I am very serious. I am telling you the conclusion of experts. Listen, Esther, dams must be sited on sites that will not constitute risk in the long run. Miriamma River area is not that site. The, the place where your plantation is hosted, or the place hosting your plantation is the place, and we are going back there. Can't you just understand? No, oh, just don't stand. What, what are you talking? What are you blabbing about? Are you trying to tell me that all that time we spent together was nothing but a fluke? How can you stand here and talk to me about destroying the plantation? Esther, I am telling you the science of the How oh, please damn you on the bloody top of rubbish? Really? If you think you're going to walk out of this, then you have another thing coming. Because, man, you will regret this. I promise you, you son of a bitch. Really? Please, I don't even know why you are shouting. The truth is that I am not going to jeopardize my company because I am doing favor to the woman. Who do you think you are? My company is bigger than whoever you think you represent. Idiot. I will not pay you back for the wickedness you unleashed on me. God is the ultimate judge. 
I leave everything in his hands. However, I must say that your visit is a very remarkable one because it has afforded my daughter the opportunity of knowing where she truly comes from, where her roots are from. My daughter knows she's from Ibinato, and that much I owe to all of you here. Oh, my son, I must confess we are very, very happy for you. The more you talk, the more we see your father, Otaka, in retrospect, talking. Blood is wonderful. And it does not lie. Oh, how I wish your father Otaka is here with us today. Well, coming to your request that I use my present position in government to dissuade it from continuing the Nebinato, I pledge to do so. Thank you, my son. Um, I have always known that uh, you will become a, a great man. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. I will make the presentation to the governor, His Excellency. But first, you must agree to my terms and conditions. And what are the terms and conditions? Very well. As there is no king presently in Ebenato, I am going to be the king of Ebenato. And as such, no decision shall be made henceforth in Ebenato without my input. Secondly, the elders of Ebenato must issue a statement saying that I will remain the owner of the palm plantation my father left me before he died. These are my simple terms and conditions. If you agree to them, we will then hold hand to the Binato Autonomous Community. I will give you a few moments to ponder and deliberate on my terms and conditions. <clears throat> Excuse me, others. We have all heard what he said. The question now is, how do we carry a man with broken waist bone? Oh. Hmm. You're right. But don't they also say that men do not argue with masquerades? Eric has just not proven to be a masquerade, but a very big masquerade as such. Let us not argue with him. Let us accept his terms and conditions. Let us make him our king, because he is in the heart of government. And trust me, we will not regret this decision. He is going to bring development to our community. It's not going to be easy. Yes, it's going to be tough, but we don't have any other option. Listen, other towns are making well-connected men their kings, so we are left with no other option. It's your Sita. Ma'am. Yeah, it has become like Sese Fly pitching on this scrotum. If you hit it hard, you wound yourself. It is true. If you pamper it, it, it will suck, suck your blood, blood and give you disease. But our people say that any man who is given a knock by his son is simply knocked by his genitalia. Exactly. However, our people equally say that uh, it is more profitable to give sacrifice to a local deity than the one in the forest. Mm -hmm. That is how I'm looking at it. What do you think? Now. Uh, 
yes, Elder. That's all. So, what's his real decision? Yes, uh, Elders. Uh, what is your decision? You are welcome. Welcome. Now. Um, we are not going to waste your time. After conferring amongst ourselves, we have decided to inform you that we accept your terms and conditions. Come and save us from destruction and possible annihilation. Mm. After all, you are one of us. Whatever thing that happens to the eye affects the nose. Wow. We have agreed to accept you as our king. And in the same vein, we pledge to restore to you whatever thing it is that has been taken away from you. Correct. Please, our son. A child does not cry this much and remain ignored by his parents. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Ironically, we are now your children and you our parents. Please, see it as it is so Taka, your father that is pleading to you. Sister, what do you mean? I don't understand. The stupid plan did not work out. The bastard, that ape, used Esther thoroughly and finally dumped her. Hey! You're confusing me more and more. That useless Ifabasa called Esther and told her that they are still going ahead with their plan to destroy the plantation. Hey! Are you really serious? What are we going to do? That plantation is the reason why they respect us in Ebenato. And if it is destroyed, then we are destroyed. Sister, are you not seeing the reason why I insist that you must always listen to me? The idea of sending Esther to seduce that contractor is deficit and silly. But you refuse to listen to me. Now he has used Esther and we are back to square zero. No, we are not back to square zero. They're only challenging our brains. And we must brace up to the challenges. This is the time for us to show them the wildness in us. They will be calling us wild daughters of Otaka. We have to show them the beginning and the ending of wildness. I am sorry, Mr. Robert, but I am not getting you at all. You work for government. Yes. And I want to believe that you know how important this project is for the government. Why are you asking me to discontinue? Chief Abbasi, I am asking you to discontinue this project because it will affect some people. I mean, it will impact negatively on the people of Ebenato and of course uh, affects the credibility of government, which is one thing I don't want to happen. My company engaged the services of experts in the science of topography, and they came up with the conclusion that Miriam River area is not ideal for the project. And based on their recommendations, we are about to mobilize men and machines to our originally approved site. Chief, I came here to tell you that you cannot continue. Reason why it will affect the people of Ibenato. I don't want the government having enemies from anywhere. You see, Mr. Robert, I have to ask you to open up to me. What exactly is your interest in this matter? You tell me. No, I work for government. And I said it already. Good. I want the government to be popular. 
Your continuation of your projects will make the government unpopular in the eyes of the people, which is one thing I want to avoid. So now you know where my interest lies. Look, I am telling you the decision of the elders of Ibnato, and you must be prepared to abide by them. You are talking nonsense, arrant nonsense. That plantation belonged to my father, and we had the right to decide its fate. Tell Look, it. my brother gave Eric that plantation before he died. Oh, oh yes. And he is the son of the family. And so will have the, 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 the decision. He makes the decision on what happens to everything that my late brother left. So you better go back to your husbands. Realizing that women of Ibenato do not, do not make decisions in their maiden families. You old man, you dare open your mouth to call Eric my father's son? You dare go back in your family. Look. How dare you? My dare you. late brother accepted him as a son. And he too stood by his father How? until he died. He is a noble son of this family. He is now a big man in government. And we have now invited him to come and become the paramount king of Ibidato. Hey! Eh? Do you remember the popular Eric Roberts? I'm sure you, 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 I'm sure you do. The senior special assistant to the governor on finance and, and, and budget. That is the same Eric that you and I connived to get rid of in this kingdom on that faithful night so many years ago i have already apologized to him hey! he is coming here to rule so you better surrender to his supremacy or you will be crushed no i will crush him he will crush him. i will crush him what he will crush him Just the daddy that I call you, you're also my best friend. What is it? Say, let's solve it together. It won't be possible anymore for the governor to discontinue the damn project. <laughs> but you've not discussed it with him yet, so why do you think it's impossible? Well, uh, technically, I discussed it with Her Excellency, the First Lady, and she advised I shouldn't even mention it to the governor. She said if I should try to dissuade the governor from continuing the project, I will be out of favor. I will be seen as a saboteur and traitor, and these are things that don't want to happen to me. That is so. What are you going to do? This is the only opportunity you have to be king. Well, that is where I'm so confused. I mean, I cannot disappoint my people, and at the same time, I cannot dissuade the governor from continuing a project that is dead to his heart. I'm confused, really. I am. I want my daddy to be king. Okay, I have an idea. Why don't you go to the monastery, and the monk will help you pray? I strongly believe there's nothing impossible with God. They're supposed to be king. Sister Go, how did you come about the name Robert? How do I know? Do you know that it was after my meeting with Uncle Ndulwe that I now started thinking? I now compared the Eric rejected and the Eric Robert. I was stunned to realize 
they are the same. <laughs> this is really complicated. What do we do now? I don't know. I don't really know. <laughs> Chief Habasi is not our problem now. This Eric is now our problem. And we must find out what to do. The elders are already planning to make him a king. And we must not allow that to happen. So shouldn't we call assassins to just kill him? Hmm? No, 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 kill. It has not come to that yet. Oh. Let's just sleep over it and think. We'll meet tomorrow morning and figure out our next plan of action. Kill. No. But let, let me just look at this paper, please. I don't think I ever want to see that. We are going to pray for you for four days. And I can tell you authoritatively that the governor will stop the program if you ask him to do so. See, we are serving a living God. And there is nothing impossible for him to do. And I ask you, if the Lord answers our prayers in four days, and the governor orders a stoppage of the project, and you become the king in your land, what shall you give to God in return? <clears throat> well, um, I am a man of few words. If it happens the way you've just mentioned, I will give to the Lord anything he asks of me. Realize we are before the blessed sacrament. Make a vow unto the Lord and be careful what you make. This is an issue very close and dear to my heart. If the governor this continues this project and I'm finally confirmed King of Ibinato. I, Eric Roberts, will give to the Lord anything he does ask of me that is within my power to give. May it be unto you like you have said. Amen. Come, O Holy Spirit, feed heart of the faithful, and rekindle in them the fire of your Lord. Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. Father, kingdom. Mm -hmm. so, they, mm, they said they want to see Oga, but I told them Oga is not around, so they want to see you. Why do they want to see me? Do they know me? I don't know. I don't know. Not exactly. I told them you are the one in the house, so they want to see you. They are three in number, and they said they are Oga sisters. That told me her three sisters. See them here. See them. This was is indeed a stage. Are you the ones that called yourself my father's sisters? We have come to warn him. Eric Robert, or whatever he calls himself, is a bastard. Our father did not pay a kobo as bright price for his mother. So there's no way he can call himself our brother. It's rather unfortunate that the three of you are perpetually wallowing in abject ignorance. How can you call a man that attended his father's burial a bastard? Or are you not learned? Sister, don't you recognize this point, brat? She was the ill-mannered girl that ran into our car the other day. Oh, that's true. Oh, so 
you are Eric's daughter, eh? Ha! Huh. Listen to me. I am going to deal with both you and your father. Both of you. I will deal with you. We are used to threats. But sincerely, I think I should advise you. You don't really need to threaten us because we are members of one family. Never! That is why he answered Eric Roberts as his son. He is not our brother. Warn him! Tell him to stay away from Rainbow Palm Plantation. It is not his own. We own it. And there's no way he can ever take it. So warn him. Warn him or warn him. We are willing to forgive you for the past and unite as one again. My father is a very, very fulfilled man. And you should count yourselves lucky that he's willing to accept you as sisters. Think about it. Let's go, let's get out of here. You think you're being very silly? Seriously? I mean, what's there? Let's just go and surrender ourselves to our brother. What are you talking about? Will you shut up your mouth? Surrender to who? Bastard. He's not a bastard, sister. He's not. He's our brother. Sister, Papa used to call him his son. Remember now, during oh. the funeral, he was there all through Papa's funeral. You couldn't be a bastard, sister. You know, it's not nice. Sir, I don't understand you. You mean we should submit ourselves to Papa Eric? He's well connected. Sister, do you know what it means to be the senior assistant to the governor on finance and budget? Sister, he's loaded. That young man is loaded. He has what it takes to take care of all of our problems. All we just need to do is just to acknowledge him. Thunder fire you there. Thunder fire you there. Look at you. That's why you, you, you threw yourself to Tojibamati. Oh. And he just finished you and got you and made away with you. Uh -huh. Select. Let's go. Let's go. Sorry, When we stop to the fight ourselves, so we are so we can be alive. When we stop to the fight ourselves, if we do and so we can be alive. When we stop to the fight while alive, if we do and so we can be alive. When we stop to the fight while alive, if we do and so we can be alive. Ah, Mazi. Uh, uh, I don't think Eric is serious at all. Look at all the promises he's made. None fulfilled. None. Well, actually, I called his house only yesterday. He wasn't in, but I spoke to his daughter, who assured me that her father is working. And I believe her. Oh, her, his daughter yes. or Eric himself. Eric has the key to all the problems. Look, I think. Eric, the benefit of that. The young man works for government. And you know government has a process. Now he has given us his word. And I believe him. Supposing these people mobilize to sight without our seeing Eric, what happens? Well, we'll go over to him. I have come to identify with your father. He is my brother. My father called him his son. It is only wickedness that makes my sisters call him a bastard. He is not a bastard. I want to meet with him and ask him for forgiveness. People with your kind of heart are short in supply. My father has gone to the monastery to pray for the progress of Ebenato. He's coming back tomorrow. And I can tell you he'll be more than delighted to know you came back to him. I was wondering, um, can I stay, you know, can I just stay here, wait for him to return? I really do need to see him. It's your brother's house, it's your house. You can stay as long as you want to. Thank you. Come here. Mm. Thank you very much. No, thank you. Thank you, Aunt Esther. Thank you for coming back to fill up the love in my father's life. It's going to be all right. Okay? Yeah. I know.
I'm beginning to feel frightened with your visits. What is it this night? Madam, the contractor has sent nothing less than 40 caterpillars and bulldozers. They are planning to fell all the palms and I came to know if you are aware. You mean the packed caterpillars near the plantation? Not near, ma'am. The trucks are discharging all the bulldozers right inside the plantation. And I was told that they are waiting for the governor's consent in which they will fell all the palms and clear the plantation. Why is this happening now? Madam, if there is a way you can get to them to wait for the next two months, I believe it will be enough time for us to harvest the west end of the plantation that is due then. We are talking about 60 million Naira. I sent for you based on what my wife told me. I understand you complained about the Benata Dam project. What's the problem, Eric? Um, Your Excellency, the popularity of government is very paramount to me. And um, the Noble Dam project, which you're about implementing in Ebenato and its surrounding communities is about to undermine government's popularity. You are not serious, are you? Your Excellency, I cannot come before you and tell you what is not real. The people of Ebenato are uncomfortable. They are refusing to understand the importance of the dam project and are making wild statements. As we are making plans to ensure second term in office, I think you should discontinue this uh, damn project so that we can have a massive turnout of votes from Ibarato like we had during the first election. I see. I see. But is that what you cannot tell me directly? I mean, you are a key member of this government and uh, any complaints you have should be communicated to me directly. I do appreciate your confidence in me, Your Excellency. Uh, we are working hard and trying to make sure that you have a landslide victory in the coming elections. And anything that will undermine our hard work and efforts should be readdressed immediately, Your Excellency. All right, and that is what I'm doing presently. I hereby cancel the Benato Dam project. Issue a statement in that regard. Um, this is an executive fiat and I want it implemented without any delays, okay? Nothing, Your Excellency. Right. Are you now convinced we're working together? Uh, Your Excellency, I must say I'm very overwhelmed and I thank you for trusting my judgment. Of course, as you know, my victory is your victory and like I've always told you guys, and therefore every advice you have. Um, I listened to. Thanks for coming to tell me this. Celebration is not commensurate with the emancipation that came our way. My son, we welcome you. Your sister, Esther, our daughter, we welcome you. Elders, today is indeed a great day. I told you. Let us be patient. This son of the soil, I told you he will come, and he has come. Yes. Even I thought will never be the same again. Yeah. Uh, now let us toast 
the good health of our son to, to welcome him and wish him much, much success. He said, may he continue to enjoy very good health. He said, yes. Elders, people of Ebenato here present, I greet you. This victory belongs to God. And He alone is worthy of all our praises. Ebenato, as we speak, is registered in the heart of the government. And very soon, we shall see unprecedented presence of the government in this land. Oh! <laughs> I will destroy my father's house, what? demolish it, and build a palace where we shall host His Excellency the Governor <laughs> during my coronation. <laughs> This is not a time for long speeches, but all the same, I greet you. Sister, Esther has betrayed us. She has run after Eric. And you know the implication of that. She's just going to reveal all our secrets to him. I'm not even bothered with that. Esther has always been a maniac and I don't want to be bothered with whatever she does. All my problem now is the partition. How are we going to hold on to it? The elders are already sitting to this place, so what are we going to do? Let's bribe the elders and they'll change their camps towards us. Right. How much do we have? How much do we have to outbribe a whole senior advisor to the governor? He has a lot of money to throw about. In that case, let's revert to assassin. Let's get the boys. Pay them some good money. They will just turn him into a corpse. And the corpse cannot give you an eye headache anymore. That's just what I think. Good morning, brother. I know the peace of the Lord be with you. We are sisters of divine love. We run an orphanage in Yenugoku. We have 26 motherless babies that we cater for every day. So we are here as sisters to plead that as a friend and a brother, you should help us so that we could cater for these children. That's what I think. Sanjay, Sanjay. All right, can take this. Brother. Thank you so much. God bless you. God bless you. Wherever this money is coming from, God will always continue to bless and bring more for you. Amen. Thank you so much, sisters. Thank you, brother. Thank you. God bless Thank you. you. Sir, good morning, sir. The prince has come to see you. A priest. Or a letter. Okay. Oh, oh father. Uh, you see, I came in connection with the vow you made. Do we discuss it or do I go back to the monastery and wait for you? Um, um, Father, you can do whatever you choose. Uh, but you see, um, I'm disturbed because I had this particular trance which I don't understand. Tell me about it. 
Well, um, I saw my daughter in the midst of uh, three reverend sisters. Uh, they called themselves um, Sisters of Divine Love. And they told the man they were running an orphanage. But what I find disturbing is that uh, they were begging for arms. Now, why would my daughter be begging for arms when I have several millions stashed in various accounts in different banks? The Lord is not interested in your silver and gold. So, um, what does he want? Uh, yes, I made a vow before the blessed sacrament that I'll give God anything he wants, you know, if the governor grants my request. As faithful as he is, he has done his own part. So you tell me, how much do you want, so I'll sign the check immediately. You see, what you saw was not an ordinary trance. It was a revolution. The Lord wants your daughter to walk in his vineyard. Um, I don't understand. Your daughter would have to enter the convent and be trained to become a reverend sister. After which, she will continue with the job you saw in the revelation. Look, um, 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 father, please. Uh, uh, this is going to be too tough for me, please. You see, uh, uh, um, you, you can ask me any amount of money. I can give any amount of money you want. Okay, I'll, I'll just sign the check and give to you, but please, just, just spare my daughter out of this, please. please. You see, my daughter is still a virgin, and I'm waiting for the day I'll deliver her to her husband. So please, please. Like I told you initially, the Lord is not interested in your money. Since your daughter is a virgin, it makes it a whole lot easier. So you have to prepare her and hand her over unto the Lord as a virgin. Remember, you made a vow before the Blessed Sacrament. And I would advise you keep to your vow. I will have to go now. Let me pray for you. Use his good offices to make us royalty. Sister, please, let's just cease all this unnecessary hostility and embrace him. He bought me this car. I'm sure he can buy you much better ones. And what makes you think that we can buy our own cars? Are these not cars? For your own information, little sister, his mother killed our mother. For Christ's sake, where must you come with a murderer? Listen, sister. Seriously, there is nothing both of you will say or do that will make me change my mind. It took me time, it took me a long time to realize what a noble brother I had. And now that I have found him, now that I have gotten him to accept me as his own sister, I am not going to turn my back on him. No, I won't. Never. Wait a minute. Esther, are you telling me to my face that you value Eric? More than your own blood sisters from the same way? Eric does not even see us like that. He sees all of us as one. Even his daughter is so excited at the fact that she has wonderful aunties. Sister, we need them just as much as they need us. Shut up. Shut that your dirty mouth up. No, I don't need them. They are not my class. And they will never be. You know what? If you leave here today, don't ever come back. <laughs> sister, sister, you people are making a very big mistake, oh. 
You're turning your backs on, on, on somebody who has the ears of the governor that will soon be crowned king of our land. I've told you, you people are making a mistake. Uh -huh. Thank you. God bless you. Daddy, what's going on? You've been crying for the past two days. What's happening here? My dear, it's very difficult for me to say. What is difficult? You've, you've always confided in me since I was a little girl. Why can't you talk to me now? I made a vow to God. What vow? I went to the monastery. Knelt down before the Blessed Sacrament. And I told God that I'll give him whatever he asks of me. If he could make the governor listen to me and do what I ask of his excellency. Is that why you've been crying? <sighs> you see, the monk doesn't even want money. But you see, he told me God doesn't even want my silver or gold. So what does he want? <sighs> it doesn't have to do with the book, my dear. I even saw it in a revelation myself. And I know the hand of God is in this. That is spirit. want to take away the most valuable assets I have in this world and it pains me so deeply. What is it? My dear, God wants you to walk in his vineyard. I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, I don't understand. He wants you to work for him. He wants you to give away all your riches. And also you'll be ordained a member of the Sisters of Divine Love. Where you shall care for orphans and the less privileged. And... And you... You truly want me to do that? Is, is that what you want? God says yes. Who are we to say no? Leave me alone. in my faith. I will not disappoint. Just uh, give me some more time. It's okay. You can take your time. It's okay. Well, sisters. Yes, Father. Let us give them some time to talk in private. Yes, Father. Yes, Father. Okay. Daddy. Yes. Can I ask you a question? Go ahead. Dad, why don't you want to remarry? Look, I know you need a new wife, and I would not have any problem with you remarrying. Oh, well, my dear, um, I will not get married until you have decided to get married. Uh, yes, your father is waiting for the man you would choose to be your future husband. And trust me when I say that I'll throw you the best wedding in the States. Ever. 
Yes, and I'll ensure that you and your husband will not lack for the rest of your lives. You see, you're God's gift to me, Earth, and uh, I'm prepared to lay down my life for you. <laughs> oh, Daddy, that's so sweet. You're the best daddy in the world. And you're the best daughter in the world. And I love you so much. I love you too, Dad. Why is this happening? My dear, it pains me that we're being separated. But we're nothing without the Lord. My dreams are cut off. I made a vow to God. We should not give God what costs us nothing. Please do this because of that vow I made to God. Please, my child. Please. Um, I'm ready to go with you. It's a will this day, oh Lord. My word I've given to you. In everything I do while I am back in the world. It's alright. You see, your father loves you. But God loves you more. My word I've given to you In everything I do While I am back in this race Oh Lord, be mindful life It's your will this day, oh Lord. My word I've given to you. In everything I do, while I am back in this race, oh Lord, be mindful life. It's your will this day, oh Lord. My word I've given to you. It's okay. It's all. The Lord will be your strength. Be mindful life. It's your will this day, oh Lord. My word I've given to you. In everything I do, while I am back in this race, oh Lord, be mindful life. It's your will delivered this to day, God. My word I've given to you In everything I do While I am back in this race Oh Lord, be mindful life We all know many have tried to be king 
in their various kingdoms, but they failed. We also know many have killed in order to assume the kingship of their kingdoms, but they failed to assume the throne. However, I am king today because of the mercy of God. And that is why I have called for this meeting and also to thank you for your support. I want the elders to adopt the hierarchy in Ibenato. Some people have suggested that um, my uncle Ichendu will be made traditional prime minister. But I said no. I cannot be king and my uncle traditional prime minister. So, I want the council to elect the traditional prime minister of and for the Benato. This, I must say, is the main agenda for this meeting. I agree to you. Thank you, Your Majesty. We greet you well. Uh, we, must, we must not waste time on this. Uh, a traditional Prime Minister is a man who is not only a great orator, but uh, also a man who is precise, dedicated, confident, loyal, and a man who can hold midst of crises of great provocation. Mindful of these qualities, as one name comes to mind, and I'm that name is Ichie Opaku. I honestly and sincerely hope that I speak the minds of all the members here present. Good, good. <laughs> In the absence of any objection, I declare Ichi Okbako, traditional prime minister of Ebenato. You are hereby empowered second in command to the king. As approved by the council, your name shall be sent first thing tomorrow morning to the Ministry of Local Government and Chieftaincy Matters. To assume that this will be the last time we will sit together to talk about this. Whatever existed between us in the past is gone, dead, buried and forgotten. Oh, oh. Why are you disturbing my life? Why? Ogo, oh you are still talking tough. You are my wife that I married according to the traditional marital laws of a Benato people. Baby, uh, please. Listen to me, Ernest. I am no longer a maiden that you, you, will, you, you will intimidate with all these rubbish uh, traditional marital laws. 
I married you because I thought you were a political frontliner. I found out eventually that you are nothing but a lackey who is constantly depending on uh, allowances and miserable tips. <laughs> I married you because I thought you were a political frontliner. <laughs> I found out eventually that you are nothing but a political lackey that's constantly depending on allowances and miserable tips that sustain idiots uh, that hopelessly lie at the corridors of power. Listen to me, Ernest. Listen. I am bigger than allowance. I want us to resolve our differences and come together as husband and wife. Never. Never! I prefer staying on my own than having a lucky as husband. Can you tell me in any sense of responsibility that you fared so very well after parting your ways with me? We belong to each other, baby. And I want you to come to terms with this. Here's the reality. I want to give you one candid advice. If we part today, please, don't ever look for me or call me or come near me again. You are aware that I laid the foundation of this achievement that you're claiming that you made so far. Arant nonsense. Arant rubbish. You laid the foundation of sadness and sorrow in my life. I feel like dying each time I remember that you actually fathered my daughter. You see, that same girl that you wouldn't allow me to see. Why are you so harsh, girl? Now listen. Amanda is my daughter that I raised up single-handedly. She does not know you. You do not know her. So, you better start getting it into your head and go out there and start looking for stupid ladies in your class of lackeys. Let me give you one advice. Do not tell my daughter that she has no father. What will you do if I if I, if I tell? If you ever tell my daughter that I don't exist, you will die the most ruthless death ever recorded in the history of Ebenato. Is that a threat of what? Call it whatever you want. Do not say that I did not want you. I appreciate you being my woman. Open up your heart and we won't be having this problem. Go away. You are just looking for who to make up. I don't blame you. You know, I am going to tell you right away that I am delighted with your decision to get married. You know, some people are already complaining. However, now that uh, the matter is also giving you concern, I advise that you marry immediately. Oh, uh, well, Ichi uh, Opako, um, this is the reason why I sent for you. Because I don't want to make mistakes. Now, here's my question. Now, must I marry from Ibnato? Or am I free to marry any woman from any tribe of my choice? Oh, the king of Ibnato is free to marry from anywhere. Anywhere at all. But... One thing that the tradition requires is that the head of the daughters of the family must approve of the woman the king will marry. EJ, I, I don't understand what you're talking about. What I am saying is that the most elderly daughter of your family must approve of the woman you are going to marry. She may not be the one to find the woman. You can find the woman yourself. But before she is crowned Lolo, who is the head of all the women in Ebenator Kingdom, she must be approved by the head daughter of your family. This is not fair. It's not fair. Ogo is the head of all the daughters in my family. And she doesn't even want my progress. Now, how can I even trust her with finding me a wife? Uh, let me repeat here for the purpose of clarity. She may not be the one to find the woman. You can find the woman yourself for her approval. However, I advise that you call her, talk to her. After all, she has become a royalty. Maturity and good judgment are hallmarks of royalty. 
her own sword. She cannot afford to do anything that will bring disrepute to the throne of heaven at all. I mean, this is not right. It's not right. I mean, why should tradition give her such powers? Does she know she possesses such powers? Uh, your Highness, she grew up in this town, and as such, I want to believe she knows the custom and tradition of a Benato kingdom. But first thing first, call her and talk to her. I had uh, a meeting with Michiro uh, Paco, and he told me something I find very disgusting. Uh, what did Ichi Opaku say? Well, um, he said um, Ogo has the traditional powers to approve of any woman I decide to marry. I don't understand what that means. Ah. It's sad to imagine. Uh, but that is the tradition of our people. Um, it, it wouldn't have been the case if you were just an ordinary man. Yes. But you are the king. Your wife is soon to be crowned Lolo, leader of women. And uh, tradition insists that a woman must approve the woman. Ah, Sade, uh, Ogo, your sister, is the head of the girls in our family, saddled with the responsibility. Anyone in Ebenato who doesn't know or God hates me. Anyone. I have tried countless times to make her see me as her brother, but she has refused. She didn't even attend my coronation because she doesn't want my progress. Now, how can I trust her with recommending a wife for me? Tell me. Your Majesty. Yes. What we are facing here is your first step. Test as king. My honest and sincere advice would be that you should pray to Obasi to continue to guide you. Because with God, all things are possible. This is one law that must change in this kingdom. Your Majesty, I agree with you that we must tread with caution. Hello. Yo, yes, um, hello. Um, can I speak with Dogo, please? Who is calling, please? This is her brother, Ezio Lisa of Ebenato Kingdom. Uh, can you please call her back? Ogo is not in town. I am sorry, but I know this is Ogo I'm speaking with. Ogo, why do you hate me this much? I mean, why do you have to always have... Hello? What does Hello? it mean? For the first time, I am beginning to regret why I even clamored to be king. A lady who hates me so much suddenly is the one to decide my future. This is going to be tough. Very tough. Without saying hello. You're into bad games lately. Who is this place? Ernest, your husband. What do you want from me, Ernest? Eh? Can't I have peace in my own house? I want to take you to the governor's house. By this time of the night. Oh, they have given you another tactics, eh? You want to use me for ritual, isn't it? <laughs> Come on, Aga. <laughs> His Excellency is organizing a party for the visiting mayor of Toronto, Canada. It will be a big blast. I want to go with my wife. 
I don't want to go. And please, Ernest, don't ever call this line a game. Ah, what does he want? What do you want from me, Ernest? Does it mean you can't let me rest? Eh? If you are planning to lure me to that your cross bed again, I am telling you, it will not work. Oh, 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 excuse me, please. Excuse me. Um, this is your brother speaking. Uh, Oko, I have never for one day offended you. Can you lend me your ears, please? Stop. I'm listening. Um, I want to send you the royal convoy to pick you up at your place tomorrow. I want us to have a private meeting. Um, am I obliged? No. You have used your powers from the government to become king. How are you sure that I accept you being the king? Oh God, I want us to talk as one family. Um, should I send them? Don't send. Call me back a day after tomorrow. And I'll give you my response. Uh, noted. Um, I, I thank you immensely for at least having time to respond to my call. Um, you're such a wonderful sister. Uh, I, I will give you a call in two days then. Does he want? Tell her I would like to see her today or unfailingly tomorrow. Uh, don't ever mention to her the reason why I want to see her. Just give her the impression that it is just a kind of clarion call. Huh? Use all the money in you to bring her here. So what if she refuses? I wouldn't even want to think of that. You see, Ogo is not as difficult as people make her out to be. She's a very simple woman who just does, does, does not like to take no for an answer. So use all everything you've got to convince her to come. You see, I would like to handle her myself. It's a wicked world. My king. Yes. Greetings, Your Majesty. Uh, greetings, um, my princess. How has your day been? Oh, very well. Yeah. I stopped by to ask you what you would like to have for lunch. My dear, your brother is faced with something far mightier than lunch. Please oblige me, please. It has always been your wish that I get married, am I correct? Of course that's correct. I have always wanted you to get married, which is the reason why I've been asking you to get yourself a wife. Mm. Could this be what you say is mightier than lunch? I've just been um, told that Ogo has head of all the daughters in this family. is saddled with the responsibility of approving any woman I choose to marry. Now, if she refuses to do so, that means I will not marry. Sorry, Your Majesty, but who told you that? Well, the council did this, and uh, they said it's tradition, and I am so confused. Are you sure that the elders and council have not been bought? Uh, no, 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 no. Um, Uncle Lundulue actually attested to that, and now I know I'm at Ogo's mercy. I don't know what to do, I'm confused. Hmm. So, what do we do now? Well, I, I called Ogo personally and uh, I told her I wanted to send the royal convoy to her so that we can have a private meeting. But she in turn told me to call her back in two days. Would you want me to talk to her on your behalf? No, 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 no. Not, not at all, not at all. Uh, please, don't even speak to her on this issue until I must have spoken with her. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
Yes. Okay. So, what would you like to have for lunch? Anything you approve of for lunch is fine by me. I know exactly what to get for you. Should I tell you the truth? I am feeling threatened. Why? I am Usondo, a son from the same town. Why should you feel threatened because I came to you? Your king called me yesterday and asked me to allow him to send some men to pick me up. I said no. And I asked him to call me back tomorrow. Now you are here, telling me that Uncle Ndulwe asked me to come back to Ebenato. I don't understand it at all at all. Why are they all asking me to come back? Why? You mean you do not trust anybody anymore in the village? <laughs> See, they want you back because they are convinced you can do something for them as head of the daughters. You want me to be sincere with you? I feel you are one of them now. You are equally my enemy. And I will want to ask you never to come back to my office again. Auntie, Auntie why? I'm not your enemy. Why are you saying this? If you're not my enemy, then tell me. Tell me the truth. Why are they all asking me to come back? Why? Tradition demands that you choose who the king marries. And that is why they want you back. I don't even know why I'm telling you this, but I believe you just come back and choose a wife for the king so that you will just save us some stress. You understand? Please. I want you to understand that Eric is an illegitimate child. His mother came into this family and destroyed the marginal peace we used to enjoy. Even if I die tonight, always know that I hate him. I hate him and his mother with a passion. It would be appreciated if you girls would punish him for daring to regard himself a member of this family. But mommy, father even calls him his son. And I am telling you that he is not a member of this family. He remains an evil child and must be treated as one. A time may come in the future when you girls will have an opportunity to punish him. You know what? Go and tell them that I will come back very soon. Soon? What, what is soon? Soon as in what time specific? Yeah, yeah. Tomorrow? Tomorrow? When, when? Just tell them very soon. Hmm? And I want to be... I want to appreciate the information you just gave, gave to me now. Thank you very much. But please, I beg you with the gods of this land. Please don't behave as if any, I, 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 I told you anything at all, please. I am not an idiot. I cannot, uh, I cannot betray a man that gave me information. And if you oblige me such important information, I'll keep giving you money. Take. Come. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody. You know what? Tradition has finally pushed him back to me. And I'm going to reduce him to not. <laughs> Sister God. I can't believe this is happening. You know it has always been our mother's wish to get rid of that bastard. Eh? Hey. And now is the right time. The opportunity I have to hit him below the belt. And I'm going to hit him real hard. <laughs> That's my sister. My sister, where are you going to get the witch? Since Akaziago has become a popular home for witches, mm -hmm. we may need to drive down to Akaziago. Oh, if that turns out to be the only option we have, the important thing is that we have agreed to do it, and that will make our mother happy in the grave. My sister, do you think that anyone from Ebenato can go to Akaziago to get a wife? I think we should be more creative and practical about this. Did I say we are going to get him a wife from Akaziago? No! 
We are going to get something from our Kaziago that will use to manipulate any woman we present to him as his wife. Ha! Sister girl. That's my big sister. <laughs> <laughs> you have destroyed him all. Huh? <laughs> that is my greatest aim. Hmm. And Mama will be happy wherever he is. Yes, so rest in peace. I must admit that I'm happy with the transformation of our father's compound and the massive palace. <laughs> you are now a very popular king. <laughs> we have no other option than to accept you as our brother. Well, um, thank you very much, my sister. Thank you. I must say I'm honored that you did honor my invitation. And uh, I'm honored as well you've accepted me back as your brother. We have also taken a decision as regards to the woman you will marry. And I promise you I'm going to get you the best wife you can ever have. Well, uh, that is heartwarming, but I have a lady I want to marry. Yes, you see, she was um, an intern administrative secretary in the office of the governor, and now she's a special assistant to the wife of the governor. And if you permit me, I will invite her over and uh, you will see she's a good wife. The woman you just described must be a politician. Yes, yes. Can't you settle with someone else? We don't want you to marry a politician. Mm -hmm. eh? Because women in politics don't make good wives. Ah, uh, my sister. You see, this woman in question is not the kind of politician that would not make a good wife. She comes from a good Christian background. Look, now that you two have decided to help me solve this problem, let me present this lady to you and you will see she will make a good wife. Uh, we don't want to hurry into this marriage. Mm -hmm. I am a victim of hurried marriage. And it always ends in regret. Uh, well, uh, what I'll say is this. Um, I know this lady inside out. And I've known her for a very, very long time. I mean, why would we waste our time going to look for another wife when I have a lady I want to marry? Uh, <laughs> you see, you must forget all these years of misunderstanding. We are your sisters and we want the best for you. Uh, we don't want you to hurry into this marriage. Mm -hmm. Just give us one month and so we can study this lady. What do you need one month for? I mean, come on. I have told you I know this woman inside out. She is a very good lady. Trust me. We are your sisters. Just trust us. Tell us her name and where we can find her. And I will go and see what she can do. Brothers, for your own interest. And our own too. And even the palace. We are looking as if you were disturbed by all the rubbish you were The world is not disturbed. I was reading in between the lines. Sincerely, sister, I think we should allow him to marry the woman he found for himself. No, Nkiru. I disagree with you. He will marry the woman, but not before we have transformed her into something we can manipulate. Sister, just tell me one reason why you want us to do this. You want to know? Uh -huh. Eric has used his power in government to hijack the palm plantation that was giving us millions of naira. The only way we can get it back is by hijacking his wife. Tradition has given me the opening I want and I am going to explore it to the fullest. 
What do you think will, will happen if we confront this woman and we find out that she's not the type that we can manipulate? That is why we have to go to Akaziag immediately. We will not even make the mistake of getting to the woman without going to get some powers. Huh? We have to go to Akaziago, acquire some powers, unleash it on this woman. She will not be able to withstand the power. Remember what our mother said. Eric must be punished. And this is the right time and the best time to punish him. Let's go! Right for you to give them my address. Ah, my dear. You see, we have a very awkward tradition in Ibenato. Um, before I get married, the eldest of my sisters must endorse the woman. You know, that's it. Uh, well, I'm simply calling you so that you get yourself prepared and not get caught unawares. But you would have given them those pictures you took during His Excellency's birthday last year. They would have endorsed me immediately. My dear, I did. I did give them the pictures, you know. They're not saying you're not good, but they want to make sure that the lady in the picture is you. You know, that's it. They just want to confirm. That's all. It's okay. So, when are they coming? Well, I don't know. Uh, but they will call you before they come. So, how are you coping with your new responsibility as a king? Everything is going well. I have concluded the palace and I'm having an excellent understanding with members of my cabinet. Sounds nice. It's alright there. Uh, are you going to be waiting for your sisters to call, okay? It's alright, darling. Uh, I love you and hope to see you soon. You take care, dear. Bye. Bye. Well, fellow elders, I, uh, all this meeting so that we can deliberate the way forward. With our sense of responsibility. I want to assert that the king is ruling us well. And we as elders of this land have a responsibility and that responsibility is to make sure that things are easy for the king. That is my agenda and I would like the council to take a decision. <coughs> I can tell you immediately that I personally don't understand what you mean. Customs and traditions are made for man and not the other way around. I would like us to take, to make a critical analysis of the traditional position that grants the woman the sole power to choose a wife for the king. We all know she does not like the king. And it is wrong. It is very wrong for a woman to choose a wife for the king. Uh, Ichi and Lue, I think I understand what you are trying to safeguard. Uh, but the truth is that we cannot change the age-long custom and tradition of our people. Yes, uh, she may not uh, like the king. I agree. But this state of hatred is something that can change with time. Ichiobako, I don't think you understand what I'm saying. We are elders of this land and we can make binding pronouncements. We, here and now, 
can take a decision to change any age-old custom or tradition. But then I disagree with you. I want us to define another agenda for this meeting. As a matter of fact, I'm not comfortable with this agenda which is under discussion, and I want it changed. Chiyopaku, have you forgotten that I played a very prominent role in your becoming the traditional prime minister? Now you are going around uh, behaving as if you are the, the lord of uh, everybody. <laughs> oh, am I not under attack for nothing? What did I do wrong? My only concern is for the safeguarding and protection of uh, the cultural heritage of our people. Then why is he seeing me as being a, a problematic? Why? I'd like to ask you all yeah? a question. I'd like to ask you a question. Now tell me, what if she goes berserk and refuses to choose a wife for the king? That cannot happen. Never! She knows that the king must marry urgently. She cannot hold this kingdom down. You have not answered my question. We are talking about people that I know. They are my brother's children. I know them well. What if they decide not to choose a wife for the king? Uh, my fellow elders, I don't want us to start thinking the impossible. Just like he cheers up your love, has already said, or God cannot and will not hold this kingdom down. Well, if she decides to go berserk and does your fear, then the elders will roll into action against her. Let us understand one thing. Ebenato is our town. Our only town for that matter. And now that we have a vibrant king who is connected in high places, we must not allow little things to distract us. Never! Huh? Something tells me that we're not doing the right thing, no. Did you come this far with me to sound like this? Don't tell me you want to behave like Esther. Or I'll just kill you here and now. Or kill, kill you well, well. Sister, if it's a plantation that is a problem, let us ask him down to us. I know he will do it instead of us going all this far. No, no, go. Eh. Are you going to cross us over? Look on what I do want to do, eh? Don't let us come out in the public and wash our dirty linen bowl. Eh, we will want to go to Akadia. Are you cross us over? Something tells me that both of you are reality. What do you mean by that? Government has tried everything possible to, to develop Akadia. And they refuse to be developed. And they are convinced that witchcraft is the only way forward. And they are committed to the practice of witchcraft. Ladies of reality should not be in Akazia. Are you from Akazia or you just want to speak with kindness against them? Be very, very careful how you behave in Akazia. Most of them do not have conscience. Did you hear that? Did you hear it? He said, be very, very careful. Okay, Leave those things. Let's go. Let's go. What, what do you have to do with these things? Let's go. I have this feeling that uh, Ichi and Hulue is going sentimental. And sentimentalism is unknown in our custom and tradition. So I want us to decide here and now the next step we are going to take. 
Yes. Yes. I had wanted to ask if anybody communicated with Ogo before now. But there was no time. Um, now tell me, should we take a decision on the next step possible? When Ogo has not made any categorical statement that she is not willing to do her job as the head of the daughters in the Holy uh, Royal Family. Thank you very much. Uh, let me tell you, there is a difference, a big difference between us and other men who are not my class. And uh, we who are members of the ruling class must not be taken on our ways. So we have to take decision and we must be willing to abide by our decision. You're becoming weaker and weaker by the day. And I think I know the reason. And what is the reason? Of course you're worried about my sisters. And I've told you to relax. But they're also my sisters as well. You know, I didn't uh, uh, know um, who Ogo's husband was. Until of recent I found out he is my personal friend Ernest. Ernest confided in me and told me he's been trying to reconcile with Ogo, but Ogo will not listen to him. The only person that can reconcile those people is Amanda. Mm. But then Ogo has refused to allow the girl to know who the father is. So how do I get to see Amanda? Amanda used to be my girl. Mm. I mean, we used to you know, talk every other time. But... Um, the minute I decided to come and reconcile with you, she stopped seeing me as her aunt. I want to adopt her as the youngest in this family and make her understand she's a royal as well. Ogo has spoiled that girl. Ogo has spoiled that girl to the point that she does not have regard for anybody. She has just, she just became totally materialistic. Look, just get her for me. All right, do that. If it's money she wants, I'll give her lots of it. Make her understand I love her. And then as a member of this family, we'll make progress from there. Okay. Mm. Um, we'll work on it. Mm. Hi. Their plants are so green here. I don't like this. I don't know what you like about it. I love this village. They have a lot of fruits and fresh vegetables. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> Otaka, your father will not have passed without a greeting. Where did you learn that? Which he did not teach you. Wait a minute, woman. How did you know that we are not of Otaka? Early marriage is not a guarantee that you reproduce early. Descendants of Otaka, do not do that. We should make him angry in his grave. Wait right there and talk to me explicitly. Talking tough is not a guarantee that one is tough. Toughness goes beyond words and appearances. It is more of what one can do. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, woman, how did you know that Otaka was our father. Descendants of Otaka should not seek the destruction of that finger that had the potential to feed you forever. Be warned, my children. You cannot go without speaking to us. Talk to us in plain language. Sister, tell me one reason why we must proceed on this trip. One reason why we must continue this trip is that Eric is our enemy. He must pay for what his mother did. His mother did not do anything. Father dated her as a normal woman. And the romance resulted into a child, which is a Rick. Father called him son. And he was there throughout Father's burial. He's now the king of Ebenato. Sister, he's not doing badly, you know. 
Why can't we just give him the benefit of doubt? Oh. Now listen to me. There is no going back. We are now in Nakaziago. And we cannot go back. Move! Let's go. So that woman, that woman qualified him as a singer that can feed us forever. That woman. Never! Never! Eric can never, never feed me. I wanted to begin to see him as an intruder who came into our lives to reap where he never sold. Begin to see him as a loser. Now move. Move! Get the The journey of life is trials and strife under the sun. Auntie, I'm at home, relaxing. I want you to come to Ibenato and meet with the king. Meet with the king? Who is the king? My younger brother is now the king of Ibenato and he wants to meet with you. Uh, but my mother never told me you have a younger brother. Well, that's because uh, we had a little bit of a misunderstanding and um, he was later on banished from Ibenato. But now that he has become king, he heard about his niece and he's asked to see you. Uh, Auntie, uh, my mother warned me never to travel to Ibenato. That's also because we thought we were hated by everyone. But now that we found out that we were all wrong, we just have to come back home. Listen, I need you to come to Ibenato. The king might even give you a car. Wow, a car. Is he that rich? Of course he is. He even bought me a brand new car. And I'm sure you could get something even better. See, I don't know when I'll come, but I, I bet soon. Amanda, I want you to get into a cab right now and come to Ibenato. Tell the taxi driver to bring you to the palace. Now. I see, here's the thing. I'd love to, but mommy traveled to Akaziago and she said I should never leave the house. Wait, does it mean you don't trust me? Oh no! <laughs> no, Aunt Yesa, I trust you. Then start coming. Okay? Uh. Okay. Right. See you. Okay, sure. King. She be doing in Akaziago. I'm going to assist you. Go around the whole of Akaziago, and all men will bear me witness that I'm a very straightforward person. But you have to tell me what you want me to do, and then I'll know how to come in. Kadi. Information everywhere is that Akaziago is a very powerful town. Yes, I agree with you. But that's ultimately depends on the very branch of power that is being treated. We are talking about spiritual powers. There's a woman that is about to be married into her family. Information reaching us says that she's a very powerful politician that wines and dines with the mighty and the big men of state and federal level. We are afraid that she's going to hijack her family. We have come all the way from Ebenato so we can control this woman. Can you do it for us? Do you know what they call me here in Akaziago? No. They call me Unyo Melunandu. If you listen to me, I'll advise you to leave that woman alone. Why? Huh? We're talking about a woman who wants to destroy our family. We have come to apply power so we can cage her before she cages us. Can you do it for us? This is Umeni's compound. He's the most powerful man we have here in Akaziago. And he's the only one that can solve your problems. Sister, we can still leave this town. I don't like what we are doing. Please let us go. We can still go. The son that was once rejected has risen to be the chief cornerstone in Ebenato. Is he the one we have come to meet? Yes. His name is Okeko Mini. And like I told you before, he's the most powerful man in this town. 
Any problem you cannot solve, they know that that problem has no solution at all at all. Okay, Komeni? These are ladies that have come from Ebenator. They have come to seek powers to cage a woman that is planning to cage them. So, I brought them to you because I know you are the best we have. <laughs> you are welcome. He who sees the sky has seen the ocean. <laughs> Sit down there and wait for me and come. He sounds like a soothsayer. Is he one? Okay, Komeni. This man is a combination of everything men aspire to be. Very powerful. Don't worry, you will see with your eyes. Don't worry. Come on, stop behaving like a chicken. Come on! That's why we're here. <laughs> I have not received any call from your sisters and nobody has visited me. I wonder if they are still going to come. Well, uh, we are keeping our fingers crossed. As we speak, um, the elders are discussing if the tradition that gives a ghost such powers could be suspended. I'm expecting good news from them. Eric, are you coming any soon? My dear, you seem to forget I'm now a paramount leader of a kingdom. Come on, Eric, I understand. I know, it's just that it's a long time I saw you and I'm beginning to miss you terribly. Uh, I miss you too, alright? But you just have to be patient, okay? Let's hold ourselves. Just for some time, just be patient. You'll soon be Lola, leader of all women in Ebenato. Okay, can I come and spend this weekend with you? Oh, my dear, that will not be a splendid idea. You see, uh, my life is in the public glare. You know, because I occupy a very, very sensitive position. Just be patient, all right? Very soon you, you'll soon be a royal. Just get used to it because it will happen soon. <laughs> That's very romantic. Wow. <clears throat> I can't wait to have that experience. Of course. I'll keep you posted on every deal. Bye for now. Bye, darling. Hmm. Your Highness. Uh, yes, Princess. I have called Amanda and um, she has agreed to come and see you. Ah, very good, very good. So, um, what is she going to tell her mother? Mm, she said the mother went to Akaziaku. But she promised me she was coming. Akaziaku. What will Ogo be doing at Akaziaku? I have no idea. I am as shocked as you are. Well, never mind. Whatever she went to do in Akaziaku, sooner or later, we shall get to find out. Don't bother you about it. Obrose, daughters of Utaka are here to destroy a woman that is destined to lead the women of Ebenato to greatness. May I know why? I'm sorry, Ichiomeni. We have not come to destroy her. Uh, we have the belief that she may become uncontrollable if she gets married to her brother, the king. We want to be able to control her. That's all. You have already accepted this woman to be your leader. Why are you here? I don't even know why I'm here. I've asked my sister that we discontinue with this mission, but, okay. but she refused. Okay. Don't, don't call me. Sister girl, count me out of this whole plan. I'm going. Okay. I'm going. I'm going. Okay. 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 Please don't mind her. I cannot go back now. Tradition bestows enormous powers on me. I, I want to be able to explore all the powers. You are going to get all you want without the use of any powers. But how is that ever possible? I am up and against a politician. And politicians are known to be brutal and domineering. I have come to acquire powers. How can you ask me to live without powers? How? I prove this woman freely. And she will be able to give you all the attention you will require. And will be there for you always. Look. I can't quite that go him. Use any power to subdue her, and you may face all your husband threatened. I don't have a husband. 
your daughter is going to be reconciled to your husband. The woman you seek to cage may be your only source of protection when father and daughter reconcile. Look, Chameleon says that he believes so much in unity. That is why he changes his color to any color around it. <clears throat> I am advising you that the best thing for you to do is to align yourself with this woman. She is humble and so accommodating. Are you telling me that you cannot give me powers? I, okay, woman, is a man of many sides. There are many things I can do, but I have given you the best advice. See her as your friend, and she will see you as that. I'm going to go into Mantiano. Amanda. Yes. Are you trying to tell me you don't know this man? No. Never met him before. Now, all the times you've been with your mother, has she ever mentioned the name Ernest Zopalek to you before? Ernest Zopalek? Yeah. Yes, it does kind of ring a bell. I once stumbled into some documents that bear that name in one of my next chambers. Yeah. Why? Give me your head. This man here has been wanted to meet you. He married your mother according to the marriage laws and rights of a Benato. His name is Ernest Obalek. And he's your father. because it is getting late and you're not making moves like someone who is planning to travel back to Ebenato today. I want you to take me to another person. Uh -uh. I have seen the so-called okay, Komen. He doesn't know anything. Hey, how can you say that? Look, okay, Komen is known as the strongest man in this community. You cannot say he doesn't know what he's doing. I'll be disappointed if you don't take me to another. Uh, not that I don't, there are no other people who but you see, Oke Komeni is the strongest of them all. Take me to another. I'm not comfortable with what he suggested. <sighs> okay, yo. if you want me to take you to another, I'll take you to take another. Take me to another. Where's the way? Let's go. It is obvious you will not return to Ebenato this night. That will not be a problem. I can sleep anywhere. The important thing is that I live with something. Certainly you will live with something. I shall give you the oil of the unholy oil. But you shall buy a bracelet and dip it in the oil for seven days. You will present her with the bracelet as a gift. 
and ensure she wears she must not reject the gift from you. I repeat, she must not reject the gift from you. That which you seek, you shall have. When am I going to get the oil? The oil will be ready before you leave tomorrow morning. Are there no repercussions? Repercussions? You mustn't forget. Nothing goes for nothing. That is the ancient truth. But the most important thing is, what you want, you will have. And that which you get will be better than what you give. I told you before, look, Ezebilo here is an honorable man. And here in Akaziago, and even beyond, we regard him as one of the most decisive witch doctors who is sure to produce results. I told you not to bother. I told you, you would get what you want. You will have the oil before you leave in the morning. Isabelo, we shall take our leave now. I'll see you later. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you. Look, this your attitude is just really confusing. You said you wanted to talk to the king. Here you are, right in front of the king, and you're not saying anything. Why are you not talking? I don't understand. Immediately I faced the truth. I forgot everything that happened. What do you mean by that? You and Logo said you wanted more time, which I gave you. And then you traveled to Akaziago, the land of witches. What did you go there to do? And what is it you wanted to tell me, Nisha? Who told you that we would travel to Akaziago? Forget about who told me what. Did you go to Akaziago or not? So many things are going into my head right now. I can't remember anything. Gilu, wait. You can talk to me. Are you sure you're not under the influence of something? Esther, tell me. How did you know that we traveled to Akaziago? Amanda had been reconciled with the father. I beg your pardon. I'm serious. And guess what? She was very excited getting to meet her father at last. Why would you do a thing like that? Her girl has already told her daughter that the father does not exist. And why would somebody tell her daughter that her father doesn't exist? Listen, there's something wrong with that, her girl, our sister. And we have to put hands together to find it out. Thank you. Why did you go to Akaziago? I can't remember anything. I told you that I can't remember anything. Uh. Unbelievable. Oh, my sweetheart, this is your home where daddy been living for a long time. Welcome home. Thanks, daddy. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> really do. Oh, quite cozy. Lots of hard work. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but dad, I just keep thinking, are you sure we're doing the right thing? I really think we should have waited for mom to come back. My sweetheart, we are doing the right thing. Your mother loves you, and she'll come for you when she needs you, all right? Yeah. And even when she does come, are you going to allow her into this house? Oh, my arms are open to welcoming your mother. She belongs here. <sighs> Honey, yeah. in the past, I tried to reconcile with your mother, but I met an avalanche of resistance. Huh. You know what? You are the magic. You are the one that's going to cast the spell on her to bring her home where she belongs. You understand? I love you and your mother so dearly. Oh, Dad. I love you too. <laughs> Come on, let me show you to your room. <laughs> I can't believe this. Now that I found you. Wow.
Are you giving me the assurance that everything will work out the way he said it? Yes. Just follow the instructions as given. Mm -hmm. Leave the bracelet in the oil for seven days. And then present it to her as a gift, as instructed. Then every other thing will be fine. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You have proved to be a very good friend. And I <laughs> promise I'm going to reciprocate any time you come to Ebenat. <laughs> <laughs> I like the promise. Okay. <laughs> but you see, there's one more thing you want to do for me before you leave this town. What do you want me to do? You must drink from this stream. What? Oh, come off it with the Ebenia Me? Drink from this dirty stream? I'm not a villager that should be drinking from stream. Please, don't follow your sister's bad example. She left this village without drinking from this stream. And I bet you, she will get to a Benato and will not remember anything that has happened in Akaziago. I don't understand. Listen, anyone who visits this community necessarily drink from this stream. It gives you retentive memory. Yes. If you live without drinking from this stream, you will get to a Benato and you will not remember anything that has happened here. You won't even remember you met a man like me. So please, just bend down and drink from the stream. If you want to succeed in your quest to catch the woman you qualified as being extremely domineering. What? Yes. Hi. This is going to be very hard though. This stream is too dirty. Please. If you want to succeed in your quest, follow my instructions. Drink from the stream. the water from any point you think is the right place to fetch it. Uh, there is no point that is the right portion. It is the same water. Drink it. Yes, you must drink some quantity here now. Then when you get to a banana, you can finish the rest. But you must drink some here. This water is dirty. Try. There are signs that make me believe that all is not well. What signs are you talking about? So, some very funny things happened inside my apartment today. My, my portrait just fell on, this, on its own accord and uh, broke into pieces. And all of a sudden, um, water sprinkled all, all over me. I don't, I, don't, I don't know what's happening. Is your life threatened in any way? I, I think so. That's why I want to come over to Ebenato. Um, please, my dear, just calm down. Calm down. I don't want anything to happen to you. Please. Okay. 
All right. What? So your mother is in possession of these documents? Do you know that I asked her severally the whereabouts of these documents? And she denied it. Why would she seize them? It cost me for crying out aloud 20,000 pounds to replace this. Uh, well, I do know for a certainty she initially wanted to sell the house. But she pretty much didn't succeed and I'm guessing that's what prompted her to abandon the documents in her chambers. <sighs> oh Lord. It bothered me that she went to this extent. I regarded your mother so much. In fact, she was the best thing that ever happened to my life. We were getting along so fine until uh, things started falling apart. Dad, you do know that the reason I'm fully back at your house is because you promised us shortly. So, what are you saying? I know, my sweetheart, I promised you. But if you were my shoes, you'll agree that this is tough. I trusted your mother with a whole lot of things in the past. And now, I'm beginning to think that uh, she's the cause of the colossal setback that I had in business over the years. Okay. Just hold on a sec. Hold up. I'm trying so hard to get you right now. What are you saying, in essence? You just lost me right now. My sweet little girl. I know you're a woman. Um, the queen to be called me today and said uh, she would be coming. I want her to be in the royal guest house. Uh, why guest house? She should be in the queen's chambers. But my princess, she's not queen yet. Ogo said uh, she needs time before she can give her approval and that's why I don't want her to be in the queen's chambers yet. Oh, come on. No one will know where she's staying. Ah, uh, but posterity will judge me if I ask him defy the traditional provision of our people. That is one thing I don't want to happen, you know. Okay. Did she give you time of arrival? Uh, she said she will be coming today. And knowing I didn't do, she will definitely come today. So please tell everyone working within the palace to sit up to their responsibilities. Adindu is a very, very intelligent person, and as such, would take me into any careless talk. Right. Consider it done. I know I can always count on you. Um, let me get the maids. It is said here in, in Ebenata that there is no situation will make it impossible for the elders to eat kula. I wonder if it is the same thing where you come from. Of course, yes. Then why have you refused Kola? <clears throat> I came all the way from Akajaku to tell you something important. I am not here for Kola. In seven days from now, someone will offer a gift of bracelet to the Queen of Ebenato. That gift must never be accepted. I don't understand. Uh, we don't have a queen yet in this kingdom. <laughs> but your king already knows who his wife is. You must do everything in your power to ensure that he marries the woman he wants to marry and that she will never accept that gift of bracelet. If I may ask, what is your interest? I am asking because it is generally known that your people hate my people. <laughs> you don't judge a people by the action of a few. Your women once saved my grandmother when she was drowning as her boat capsized. It is my time to pay back the people of Ebenato. That is my interest and that is why I am here. Wanted. 
Um, the lady I want to marry is in the palace guest house. What? How can you invite her to the palace without my approval? Oh, well, I did not invite her. Um, her life was threatened in the, you know, her apartment where she stays. Uh, knowing that her future is here, she decided to be under the palace protection. I'm not comfortable with her presence in this palace. She needs to go through a traditional process. She needs my approval before she arrives. Do you mean to say you're not going to give this approval now? I am still thinking about it. Thinking about it? Now how long will it take you to give this all important approval? Seven more days. I beg your pardon. I need seven more days before I can give her the approval to become your wife. Well, if it's going to take you seven days to give this approval, why don't you give it now? It took me time to accept you as my brother. Now that I have you, I am ready to go all out to give you all it takes for you to be fulfilled. Seven more days, I need to study her further. And I can assure you that we will not be making any mistakes. G, I called you because it is said that two heads are better than one. And I also assume that uh, four ears are better than two. <laughs> <laughs> you are very correct. You are correct again. Uh, Our friend from Akaseagu has come to us with some information that I consider vital. But I want you to hear him. What did he say? I am still here in person and I think you should ask me. I am sorry, our good friend. I'm listening. I am listening. Yeah. A gift or bracelet will soon be offered to the Queen of uh, Ebenato in seven days from today. Men of the ruling class must ensure that that gift is turned down. He is confusing me. You and I know very well that there is no Queen in Ebenato. I already told him, but he insists that the King has said and that he should be allowed to marry whoever he chooses. Our good visitor from Akajiago. Uh, I am sorry, we are not aware of such a queen in our midst. Benevolent woman of Ebenato, once you saved my grandmother, I came all the way from Akajiago to reciprocate that life seven assistance. The king must marry a woman he wants to marry, and she must not accept the offer of a bracelet from anybody. What do you think? The king has not told us about any woman. And we cannot uh, confront him until he opens up to us. But do you think it's a wonderful idea? Yeah, definitely. The, the king of Ebenato must be trusted to do what he likes, but we cannot confront him until he confronts us. Mm. Our hands are tied. Mm. Have we met before? No, I, I doubt. Are you here to see my brother? Um, actually, I, I came to see the king. I am Madendu, his fiance. Hey, sis, here you are. I was just uh, coming to call you to introduce you to our coming queen. Mm -hmm. We are already interacting. Oh, I see. You're mm. welcome to the palace, my dear. Thank you, ma. I think I've met you before. It's possible that you must have seen me, maybe on the television, when I was active in the office of the governor. Mm. 
to stop. <laughs> I don't you agree with me that um, she will give our brother lots of children? <laughs> she says so. Mm. I actually came by to know why you're listening to the elders. Those men are old and they don't have the right to dictate to you. Also, I'm not comfortable with the way you're talking. I mean, our elders are guiding me in line with the culture and traditions of our people. How can you say they are dictating to me? And then the brothers, by the way, there's this beautiful woman I want you to meet. You'll be delighted at, at what you will see. She's actually at my place right now, and if you give me the permission, I'm going to bring her over. You have to damn those elders because you have to do what you have to do as king. Are you aware that I would not have been king if these elders you're telling me to damn right now didn't give me their support? Yes, but that doesn't mean they're indispensable. Listen, just permit me to bring this woman over. You'll be delighted you, you saw her. She's, I know your taste. She's the type you want. And trust me, she'll make a fine queen. May I know what makes you think I'll be interested in this woman you're talking about? Oh, because, because she's, she's huge and domineering. You know, the kind of woman that this kingdom needs as queen, you know, very you know, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Osondo, I will settle this once and for all. I am not interested in this, your domineering lady. Yeah, but your majesty, you've not even seen her. She, she, she has really beautiful. Uh, there's no need my seeing her. Because as it is, as I speak with you, there is a lady in the palace. Her name is Adindo. And she is to be the future queen of Ibenato. You mean there's a queen in this palace? Has her goal given approval? Well, uh, she hasn't, but uh, she promised to do so in seven days. Where are you? Mom, you lied to me when you told me my father doesn't exist. But oh, I finally met him and contrary to what you made me believe, you were the one that abandoned him. Wait a minute. You mean you started talking with Ernest without my consent? Oh God, Mom, drop it. I'm here at his house and he is a really wonderful man. And he's promised to accept you back if you come back to him. Look, Mom, the best part is that he has remained single ever since. So just, just come home. Mom, you have no idea how good it would be for me to have both parents under the same roof with me. You know? And, Mom, hello, are you still there? Hello? Do you still remember the advice that I gave you? Not to tell my daughter that she doesn't have a father. Because if you do, you're going to die a miserable death in our town, Lebanon. Menace, what did you say to my daughter? Oh, the truth. That you are such a wonderful woman. Such a beautiful woman. The best thing that ever happened to my life. And that my arms are open. In your dreams, undo what you did on my daughter, or you will see a different woman from the one you used to know all these years. Honey, organize yourself and come back home where you belong. You have such a beautiful daughter, a big home, such a loving and caring husband. Nobody's stopping you to come back home. Come back to your family. We are one big family, and I want us to remain one big family. You are looking at me as if I'm speaking some form of Arabic and you don't understand the words that are coming out of my mouth. And that's the truth. I don't know what you're saying. You brought me here to Ebenato with the promise of showing me the king that wants a lady like me for a wife. Now you're asking me to go back to I don't see. <sighs> uh, well, there's a saying in this kingdom that when a babysitter is brought to babysit a baby, 
If the baby dies, the babysitter goes back. And what do you mean? I brought you here to see the king. And he has proposed to marry somebody else. So I suggest we discontinue the business and the process. Do you think I am the kind of lady you can toss around? Listen, you brought me here to see the king. And I am not living without seeing that king. Did you hear me? Okay. I don't know if you get me right. Okay. Maybe you don't understand the words that I'm talking or that are coming out of my mouth. You are not going to see the king. That is all. I, 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 are you showing me the king or, or, or do you want me to kill you here? So you have the potential to kill. Th then you will see the king. You, I, 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 you. Listen, listen. Next time, you mind your business. Did you hear me? Learn to mind your business. I shall give you the oil of the unholy oil. But you shall buy the present. And dip into the oil for seven days. You will present her with the breast as a gift. And ensure she will it. She must not reject the gift from you. I had a visitor from Akasiagu four days ago who made a very weighty statement. He said that uh, you have seen the woman that you are going to marry and that we should allow you to marry her. <laughs> but since you had not mentioned anything to me, I thought I would come to you to inquire if indeed you have a queen somewhere. And uh, who is this visitor from Akaziago? Uh, his name is Okeke Omeni. He said that uh, some benevolent women of our kingdom here uh, saved his grandmother from drowning many years ago and he had been looking for the opportunity to reciprocate that benevolent act of our people. Uncle Ndudwe, I'm not uh, getting you at all. Your Majesty, was he right when he said you had a queen somewhere? Uh, yes, he was. Uh, her name is Adindu and uh, she has been within the palace for four days now. Nkiru and Esther have been keeping her company. I am sorry, Your Majesty, but I, I am disappointed. How could you keep a woman in the palace? Oh, well, her life was uh, threatened in the apartment where she stays and uh, she decided to come and be under the protection we have here in the palace. Uh, I did discuss this issue with Doko and she said uh, to give her approval would take another seven days. In seven days from now, someone will offer a gift of bracelet to the Queen of Heaven and That gift must never be accepted. I'd like to see the Queen. Am I obliged? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, is there a problem, Uncle? Um, Oh, many has given men in the ruling class a task and we will resolve it. I am king and leader of this particular ruling class and I desire to know what this Omeni said. Your Majesty, please believe me when I say to you that we shall solve it. Where is the queen? In the world of best Your Majesty. My sister and I went to Akaziago. We did so many things there. But since I came back to Ibenato, I've not been able to remember anything. And I don't know why. <sighs> Ever since the governor was poisoned by a woman of Akaziago that worked as a chief cook at the government house, I've become very worried of hearing Akaziago. I'm very surprised he went there. Oh, uh, hello, how are you? Yeah, 
you must be the visitor to the palace that the king has been talking about. Yes, Uncle, actually, that's the queen to be, and uh, we have been doing our best to keep her company. Uh, would you excuse us for a moment? Huh? Yes. Okay, excuse us. I am Ichie Indigoe, the only surviving elder of the family. And I have come to advise the coming queen. Thank you very much, Uncle. I am listening. It may happen in the next three days that you are confronted with a gift of bracelet. I advise you to reject it. I'm very surprised you're saying this, Uncle. I love bracelets and I was trained not to reject gifts. I don't know the authority that trained you. But what I am saying to you brothers on the matter of life and death, a gift of bracelet will be presented. And a gift of bracelets must never be accepted. Because acceptance will bring calamity to the palace. And we don't want that, do we? Um, who is this person that will present me with a gift? I don't know who is going to present you with a gift. All I know is that it must never be accepted. After all, the king has already told us that he has chosen you as his life partner. He has chosen you as his queen. He has chosen you as, as a woman he will want to spend the rest of his life with. That is nothing that we can do to change his mind. So please, do not, and I repeat, do not accept the gift of bracelet. You have something you want to say. What's the matter? Please, I'm so sorry. I'm so confused. I'm trying to remember something, but I don't know why it's so difficult for me to remember anything. Does it have anything to do with what um, Uncle Ndudwe told the coming queen? I think Sister Uncle is up to something. Understand what do you mean? Sincerely speaking, she owes us some explanations. I am going to present this bracelet to her, and her mind will be blown off. Then she will become our slave girl forever and ever. <laughs> Sister, do you think that would be necessary? Why? This is the right time to do what our mother said. Sister, you can't do that. Our mother is dead. There will always be time when wickedness must be suspended. What are you saying? Are you saying I am wicked or what? You took me to Akaziako and for some reasons I wasn't able to remember anything. But now I remember it all. Sister Ogo, I want you to stop all this evil mission of yours. You want a bastard to reign over us forever? Oh, Sister Ogo, stop. Our brother is now the king of Ebenato. He's not a bastard. Just show him little kindness. Give his wife the approval that only you as the eldest daughter of the family can give. That's 
save yourself from this embarrassment. And if I don't, then I'll go to Ebenata and tell them everything. Are you aware that my daughter ran away after her father? What makes you think you can also betray me? No one will betray you. No one is even planning to do that. All I want is for you to show a little kindness as the eldest daughter of the family. For peace to reign in the palace. Dad, I don't know why you want me to do this. I don't want to go back to mommy's house. I want to stay here with you. My little daughter, I am not asking you to go there and remain there. All right? I appreciated every moment that we spent together since you've been back here with me. I want you to go back to your mother. Talk to her. Talk some sense into her. Make her understand that we are one big family. And I know you can do it for me. And you really think she'll listen to me? Never say never. Just go and talk to her. Spend the night with her. Talk to her all through the night. I'm sure you'll convince her. Dad, you barely know mom. She could seize me, you know, permanently this time. And then you won't get to see me again. Just let's stay. Let's stay. It's a beautiful home, Daddy. I know my sweetheart. Your mother cannot do such a thing. But if she does, I'll come for you. We are one big family. You understand? Please come and go. Okay? You can go. All right. Extend my regards to her, right? She went to see your girl. I really don't know what is keeping her. She should have been here by now. I have this feeling that Antogo hates me. I don't know where I went wrong. <laughs> our girl's problem is not hatred. She's just simply domineering. You know, she always wants to be in charge. It's the problem she has with everyone. It's not just you. So, have you been able to understand the meaning of the advice from Uncle Dolui? That's the reason why she traveled. Look, don't worry. Everything is being handled. Okay? Okay. You're such a wonderful sister. And I feel so indebted to you. Look, I'm only respecting who ought to be respected. Because I know that one day, I also will need to be respected. Mm. I love you so much, Esther. <laughs> I love you too. Trust me. Come on, eat your apples. I cannot accept the gift. I'm so sorry. 
You are turning down my gift. No, really, Auntie. Do you realize I'm the first daughter of this family? And there are things I can do. Auntie, I know you're the first daughter of the family, and that is not in district. But I must not accept the gift. I'm sorry. I didn't do whatever they call you. Take this bracelet and wear it here and now. Are you forcing me to accept a gift? I said I love bracelets, but I must not accept this. I was warned and I'm going to be a fool to undermine it. I'm sorry, Auntie. Take this gift and wear it! Are you sure this is still an ordinary bracelet? Why are you bent on having me wait? Take this bracelet and wear it before I get back to you. Where do you think you're going? Take this bracelet and wear it now! Take it! Huh? Come on, kid. As far as I'm concerned, she believes I'm dead. She blew a white substance into my face and I passed out. She carried me, dumped me into her bath for me to die there. Come on, 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 come Well, she didn't die. Ogo, why are you this wicked? Why have you been plotting my downfall when I've forgiven you for all the wickedness you unleashed against me? Why did you go to Akazia to possess evil powers to manipulate the coming of the Queen? Why have you refused to give an approval you could give so easily? I am so, so disappointed, Oba. Very disappointed. No, Oba, don't do this! Do it! Disappointment to royalty. Uncle, in her absence, I am now the head of the daughters of this family. Yes, of course. I didn't do my dear. Yes, Auntie. I give you the approval we always wanted to marry my brother. Thank you, Auntie. You are the coming queen for the matter. Congratulations. Thank you, Auntie. It's a will this day, Ola. My word, I given to you in everything I do while I am back in this race oh, love, be mine for life welcome Thank you. it's your will this day oh, love. 
my word I've given to you. In everything I do, while I am back in this race, oh Lord, be mindful.